Hey, we've got Roomba. Hey, Hello, I, Roomba. how's it going? I, I, I couldn't miss talking to you guys for the first little bit here. I'll have to join you guys again later tonight, but uh, just wanted to pop in and say hi. Wow. Are you going to be joining the server? I did. I'm already in. It's crazy how well wow. it's running. Yeah, it's. I'm still getting 60 60. This is. It's pretty damn impressive, considering that. It was only a couple of days ago that we had the uh, the other test that went rather woefully. Yeah, a little bit sideways. Uh, what was the command again to, to check players? How many players are in the game? P O C, spaces in between. Players online count. Already up to 317. Yeah, 60 frames per second. Game seems to run me absolutely perfectly. It's amazing. I was just saying it's running better than Factorissimo. What have you done? How did you guys make this possible? It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, another one of the optimizations we made. Uh, now when people join, and they're trying to join like immediately after another player, we actually put them in a little bit of a queue, so then a bunch of players can get the same map at the same time instead of one at a time, slowing down the game for everyone. Ah, beautiful. Was there any changes done to the autosave? Ooh. Oh. Oh. Is it server not responding? Yep. No, it's fine. Just a few people got kicked. Mm. Ah, me and Twinson, I think then. The post on oh. the on the subreddit about if the CPU on the server is too fast for a person's CPU, like a home CPU, then the server is trying to run faster than their PC can run. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's probably something which is going to happen to today, tonight, and it's probably happening. Just happening right now, yes. <laughs> yes, a lot of people who don't have really good computers will probably not be able to play. Yeah, yeah. I was curious. Um, <clears throat> we had uh, on two. Uh, it was Thursday last week. We had somebody host a server for us, and then you guys volunteered to do your own server. Do, could you tell us more about what kind of server you rented and like its specs, just so people who are interested will know? So, yeah, that's a good question. Give me a second. It seems fast. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. That's a good speed. Oh, I'm noticing I'm getting uh, trapped in a tile occasionally. You know how your character kind of gets locked to the uh, specific area? Mm. Yeah, a lot of people are being dropped from the game. Yeah, I think this is like Europe. 50. Oh. Jeez. I don't know if we're getting to the, the stage right now where we've got too many players for certain processors. So we've just hit like a, a speed that's very popular that people just can't handle. <laughs> I can't actually uh, join back into the server. Yes, I got kicked twice. Yeah, we, we seem have. to be... They're getting server Switching not responding, it's not slow CPUs. Could it be um, open connections to the server? It could be. Hmm. I like, I like how this is a... <laughs> I like how the, you guys, you were telling me last night, oh yeah, we're gonna do some small-scale server testing at about 4 o'clock Eastern. <laughs> There's already four, 350 <laughs> people in here, what are we gonna do tonight? My goodness. <laughs> You're shooting for like 2,000 two or something. Uh-oh, server's not responding. Yeah, well, we're uh, representing the Europeans right now. Mm hmm I think we need to put a limit on the server. <clears throat> so our European people can join, including us. Yeah. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately the internet here in the office is not really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm of the impression you guys should just take tomorrow off work and play multiplayer online all day. You know, just... You guys deserve a vacation, don't you? That's sort of the plan for a couple of us. <laughs> it's great! Just stay up till the next morning, play Factorio, and then, you know, crash somewhere. It just sounds like life, to be honest. It sounds like a normal day. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a Roomba and I when we were trying to work out this, uh... Priority splitter. Sure. Yeah, there's uh did you see there was just a post um you and I both got tagged in less than an hour ago, Stijo, with a an inline 
one, two, and uh, one, one or two lane priority splitter. Remember yeah, we were... that was on your subreddit, was it not? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, I seen it. Yeah, it's really cool. cool. I like it. It, uh, it, pulls, it pulls from the inside as opposed to the the, the bottom belts. the bottom row. Yeah, so it makes it a lot easier. And uh, instead of having a big big entity kind of like spill out from the four lane bus, it uh, it's all basically done in line except for the branch, which is awesome. Yep. 352 we're sitting at. It's not bad. But now I don't know if it's several limitations, because it seems like we're having... Like, well, if you look at the bar, there's a lot of people that's trying to join. Yeah, I think our internet connection with Europe got crazy. Oh, I, uh... This is completely unrelated to Factorio. I just have to tell you guys, I'm so excited. I just found out, like, two seconds ago, my internet company is going to upgrade my speed from 1,000 from from 100 megabit to 1,000 megabit. I get Google Fiber, basically. Wow. Yeah. Nice. Wow. Awesome. It's finally available. Hey, somebody trap uh, trap me inside the pipes. You need quick through, I remember. <laughs> so how is it going for you, people in game? Because I'm not in game. Um, it, it's it's okay. I, I mean, yeah, it was better when I was. When I was the host, it was better, but you know. <laughs> um, no, it it's like you, you move and you can you can still do stuff, but you keep getting like kind of caught inside your little um. What did you guys call it a number of while, a while a number of patches ago where uh, the latency hiding feature? It's like if you try to move too far, it just rubber bands you back to where you were because you are not where the server thought you were or something. And it resets your position. I propose making a player limit now. Yeah, I think yeah. I said it. I should have said it to 300 now. Yes, yeah. and people that already are in the game should be able to rejoin. Yeah, we're at, yep. uh, we're at 318. Now, yeah. So, so anyone so new who should wants I set to it? join? Anyone new who wants to join, unfortunately, won't be able to join anymore because we set a <laughs> limit. So if we're uh, if we're setting a limit now, what do you think is going to happen tonight? Do you think uh, later on this afternoon we're going to somehow get more people in, or have we already kind of hit the number? Because we actually hit four, what four fifty, I think, online players uh, Thursday last week. Well, I think now we're getting a lot of European players, and so if half the players are European now, and the, the sort of bandwidth to Europe is the limiting factor for a lot of players. Ah, uh, yeah. Then do you, uh... the number now isn't really the the cap for like if we were just going solid for you know american players do you happen to know where where is the server itself located the one that you rented in new york city okay so that's definitely going to be a big factor yes good for me <laughs> good, 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 good for me well, either. <laughs> new, new york's not too bad for me either because we've got the uh transatlantic pipeline yeah the transatlantic pipeline yeah and that comes to the UK straight out of Glasgow. So, <laughs> well, I do have to say, I, I really appreciate you shrinking this this uh, joining and catching up interface to just the top left corner. Now you can actually read chat. It's great. This yeah, has got to be uh, uh, someone dropped, someone joined, someone dropped, someone joined. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if maybe some of that stuff. There was a comment on uh, somewhere in the last week or so saying that uh, perhaps there should be a discrete chat window and a discrete like server or command window. You know, like if someone enters a console command or whatever, then that'd be held in a different area. What a lot of games will do is like, if you imagine, um, say like World of Warcraft, you'll have the chat box and then you'll have tabs at the top where one will be, you know, combat, one will be general, one will be another server channel or whatever. Like maybe we could bury some of this other stuff behind a tab so that we could actually just see chat. You know what I mean? Of course, we're taking Factorio to the extreme here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not its not every day that you're going to be sitting playing with another 300 people. I know, but it should be every day. I, I, I love it. It's <laughs> its the best thing. Yeah, well, there, uh, there's still a lot of improvements we can make. Especially as, with uh, the GUI and stuff. You probably say that every day. This is, uh, this is great. Yeah. You probably say there's lots of improvements to be made every single day. That's that's what you guys are do always doing. Well, that's now what we try to do. 
I gotta say, now it feels like the game's running perfectly. I don't know what's changed. Is it because no no one's allowed to join anymore because of the player cap? Because it's now it's yes, running exactly. perfectly. I'm not getting... Uh, yeah, no one's allowed to join anymore. I'm not getting janked around. I'm not getting yeah. stuck in my box at all. Or It's great. It's oh, awesome. Oh, something, something that we noticed um, through our testing uh, with my servers that my Patreons and stuff have been hosting. Uh... For the, the AFK timer, if you make yourself a little belt roundabout, you're not classed as AFK. Oh. Because your character's moving. <laughs> oh, wow. People are cheesing the AFK. All so, okay. uh, here's an idea. What if what if you were to do, um, like for tonight, or even just for now, if you wanted to, what if we were to just incrementally increase the player cap like 20 players at a time? Instead of letting everyone try to join, just do small batches. And keep pushing the limit yeah, that way. It's that's what I'm kind of trying to do. That's already the plan, huh? Good. Nice. <clears throat> Every, everyone needs to make some uh, red science packs in their pocket. Go, go, go. <laughs> Let's blast <laughs> blast through some of this basic stuff here. Oh my god, the bus is already so big. Look at it. It's the, the planning is... The, the iterative process we've had since this is the third one now, everyone's like, okay, we know what to do. And <laughs> just go. They just go. I'm just interested to see uh, how people start pulling from the bus. Yeah. Mm. Well, it's uh, it's kind of like Factorissimo was like all, out of nowhere. Factorissimo was just like this mod, and now it's like one of the most downloaded mods on the mod portal. And just Factorissimo, really? It is. It's up there. It's almost. Wow. It's like on the first page almost, which is pretty significant That's not considering. I would have expected. Considering Bob's mods is you know pretty firmly up there and some of the other stuff, but. Out of nowhere, we were like, hey, we should do this priority splitter thing, and now it's like half of the posts on the Reddit are about priority splitters and how to make them work, which is kind of cool. Well, there was a really sad post on the Reddit, though, that was, um, oh, just because popular streamers do it this way doesn't mean you should do it that way. Hmm. And I'm, I'm very much in that camp that just because it's something that's popular doesn't mean that that's the way you should do it. But mm -hmm. at the same time, judge an idea on its merits, not just who done it. Yeah. I agree. AKA, don't use train roundabouts. <laughs> Just because <laughs> Bentham did them. Exactly. Continuing the campaign, I see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there used to be huge debates about the trains. Like roundabouts or one headed, two headed trains. Like, everybody was crazy about it. Oh my god, you should check my comment section once in a while. It's pretty much still that. Mm hmm. Why are you using one-headed trains? You should be using two-headed trains. No! <laughs> Go away. It's my trains. Ooh. I'm getting a bit of a... Uh, severe yeah, rubber banding. I opened... the server to some more people. Ah, the floodgates. I would like a chat blacklist for certain words as well. Mm. Mm. That'd be a nice thing. Wow, this is already taking shape so nicely. Yeah. So, so the uh, <laughs> trying to get the achievement for building, launching a rocket in eight hours seems pretty reasonable at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Built a grand total of. Uh, my god, people are putting brick down. Axe. Yeah, I, I can't I can't see this taking very long to get up to like ten thousand iron a minute, you know, just something ridiculous. I mean once it really kicks up then like it just increases exponentially. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh it's always the little gate while people have no iron in their inventory, and then once mm. people start getting iron, things start to happen. <laughs> yeah, everyone's scrambling for iron right now. I'm just trying to build the first rudimentary here's splitters here, just so we can get this bus going. Looks like someone's already done it, though! I come down to the smelting area, and there's spl splitters <laughs> everywhere! I guess it... darn it! <laughs> Didn't need to do any of that, did I? I should've just stood and watched. I'm not gonna do anything, I'm just gonna watch. Hey, that's pretty much my playstyle for anything multiplayer. <laughs> I know. I'm familiar. I've played with you plenty of times. Okay, the only so difference is I can shout at you, but I can't shout at these people. 
Oh, this is this is looking uh, this is looking beautiful. Look at this. We got a four belt coal bus, a four belt copper and iron ore bus. Like we're bussing ores, <laughs> like with really big throughput planned. Love it. <laughs> Someone had circuit network set. <laughs> I think that's a bit quick to, to hope for green science. Oh, I, I think I forgot that it was green science. I've been trying to sneak it in twice already so we could um, <laughs> put those priority splitters on the line. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Represent. <laughs> that would be great because, you know, we'll, we'll have them, you know, full ore capacity throughput already on our smelting areas. Yeah, yeah but would you use the, the cloning one or would you use my one? I, I'm a fan of the cloning method. Mm -hmm. I have seen both, and I saw your latest video on, on uh, all the options out there. Yeah. I, I, personally, I think it's fantastic that you guys came up with this fantastic idea to to prioritize a lane, and, and I think it's cool that the community is also putting put in. And, yeah. And, well, uh, I'll start so with them. I answer enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start with JG Games. Yep. Who, uh, well, I, I say it all this started. That's where I remember I first got the idea. Yeah, yeah, I love this setup. It's very, very cool. Yep. What he used to do, if, if, if you're just tuning in now or you hadn't heard the story before, um, he's a guy who was, uh, he's like an engineer by trade, I think, and so, I mean, we all are, right? We're all Factorio players, but um, <laughs> he, uh, he would, like, do uh, a bus, right, with a, a full load of iron or whatever, and then every time he would do a branch, he would do a little shuffle where, like, the top belt would go off the branch, off the bus, and then the second belt would take the first belt's place. So instead of splitting the throughput of the bus and just giving a little bit to each of the branches, he would just take the whole thing and get a big amount of throughput to that branch and make it productive. And then whenever he ran out of iron belts, he would just go make another smelting line. So he had tons of these little smelting lines everywhere to create bus uh, belt full belts. But the problem was that with that method, if a branch isn't using any of the resources, then that entire smelting chain just shuts down too. So we tried, no overflow. tried to make it better, basically. Yep. Because I didn't like the fact that there was no overflow, so... Yeah. Hmm. And I had a, a comment in one of my videos, because people know how much I love the circuit networks, that said, Stejo, did you know you can actually stick a circuit network on a belt? And then hilarity ensued. What's going on here? <laughs> this rubber band is crazy. Yeah. We, we seem to have only gained about, what, 30, 40 players since uh, raising the password cap or the, the limit cap again? Or is the limit only plus 40 players? Limit is 370 currently. Right. Unfortunately, every time I open to new players, since we have the worst internet here in the office, me and Clonan can never connect. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, that's sad. Um, wasn't there an option I saw in the in the patch notes that you if you've ever joined you can be restrict not not be restricted by the player cap? It seems it's not working. There's a check we oh. didn't remove. <laughs> oh, that's really sad. <laughs> we'll get in eventually. Yeah. Well, what you could do if you really wanted to is uh, set the player cap to 500, change the password, add a password. And then you guys could just join because you would be below the player cap. No one else could join because the password would be in place. Once you're in, remove the password, lower the limit again. Now you just made me look bad because I didn't think of this idea, which will actually work. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there's a lot of very smart people in the room, and I'm not one of them, but uh, there's bound to be good answers. You already have so many ideas going through your mind. It's, it's very kind of you to give someone else the idea to uh, have an idea. So you don't have to think about it. No. I like that. That sounds good. <laughs> I don't like that. It's not mean enough. Hey! Jeez. But, but, not you can't be, be nice mean. to people. It's supposed to be nice to people. Yeah. No! <laughs> Everyone still needs... ridiculous! Oh, yeah. No! <laughs> 338. Oh my god, this is massive. This there's just so many. There's just so many. It's people. just like, wow. It's just ridiculous. People are just still oh, going. Oh, look, Cito, someone's writing your name, I think. I started to write your name. <laughs> People are just going to do this um, I wonder if we'll get our little techno light show again. Ooh, Stitcher, look, top right oh, corner. Cool. Circuit network, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have greens. I, I, I constructed two green science packs. I, I don't even nice. have iron in my inventory. <laughs> I've got iron ore. 
Is uh, is there a way to see playtime in vanilla? I'm so used to having a clock. Uh, forward slash time. Oh, okay. It's actually nice that you say that you like the oh, circuit nice. network so much because there were even debates on the forum saying you should just remove the circuit network from the game because it has no complete use. No. Huh. <laughs> huh. Uh. Oh no. Yeah, that's a good one. That's ridiculous. The um, <laughs> the combinators have a lot of use, but mostly in complex form. But basic circuit things that you can do like very quickly and very easily that just up the efficiency of your factory are ridiculous. Yeah, especially now with the um, belts being connectable. Yes. Yeah, even simple things. I like just being able to wire up an inserter to a box instead of having to uh, restrict yeah. it with the uh, the red thing. What's it called? Where you like block slots in the in the box? Yeah. <laughs> I like everyone going up and down the path. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying away from there from now. There's no iron on that bus. It's impossible to get iron. I don't know how people are building anything. I think, uh, I think one of my favorite circuit network things recently has been RoboPorts. Yeah. Just be I... able to shove a little circuit into a RoboPort oh, yeah, and that's stay. Wonderful. Yeah, create more if the available robots are less than 10. So yeah. if you're using all your robots, you must need more. Yeah, you just showed me that yesterday when we were recording. I was amazed. I didn't even realize you could wire up the robot network. Yep, it's awesome. This place is crazy. I just joined in from about 10 minutes now. Not being in, and <laughs> wow! See progress. Someone in my someone in my chat like just asked me to slow down with all the building that I'm doing. <laughs> I I've literally built zero things. <laughs> well, we're doing a good job of getting circuit network, considering that we're not actually. Uh, and actually, I don't think we have a science setup. I think people are just crafting green green packs in their pocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all pocket crafting. <laughs> hey, if it works. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This is, it's like watching a time lapse. Mm hmm. Did you, uh, did you put a restriction again? Because the game seems to be running exceptionally well. Uh, yeah, I put a password, and now I just removed the password. And I'm slowly, slowly increase. Cool. The map is. All but useless due to names. <laughs> yeah. Just looking at that to find another coal deposit. Perhaps there could be a, a mini map option on the graphics tab or something to, to display player names on the mini map or not. Yes. It could be For a lot this of massiveness, probably yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we can do that would help for something of this scale. Mm -hmm. That wouldn't help that in just regular. Isn't really needed. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have an idea for fun. Let's do something we haven't done in the last two sessions. So I'm assuming many of the people that are in the game right now are actually watching your stream, right, CJ? I'm not streaming right now, um, but I will uh, be later tonight. Yeah. Well, we've got 860 oh, people on stream just now. All right. Cool. So oh, hopefully. The server's not responding. Oh, oh, we're fine. We're fine. I like how the server is not responding thing ticks up and then it ticks back. <laughs> when you catch up, <laughs> it's, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah. Oh, um, so here's what we can do that's different than the last, the last two times we've done this. Uh, CJ, hopefully people in your chat will join me in this. Why don't we all just like get like 100 or 200 of us and just take our pistols and go bum rush some bases and see how well we do with <laughs> just pistols. It'll yes. be great. On me. Uh, CJ, which way do you want to go? North, south, east, west? You pick. Uh, northwest. Northwest it is. Let's go. <laughs> We're going bite our AI here, guys. I'm going up to the oil fields in the northwest, and we will gather there. <laughs> this will give us something to do while we wait for some processing of iron, right? <laughs> <laughs> while other people are actually doing worthwhile things. Yeah, well, we'll come back and there's going to be, like, iron on the bus. It'll be great. <laughs> Whoever dies first gets iron. It's like, uh, <laughs> we're, we're rewarding those who are aggressive. <laughs> Alright, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all these people! Alright, I wonder how many... How, okay, we should wait, because there's definitely some delay here. I can see a huge number of people still waiting to, to tie in. The crowd. Oh, I've got someone giving me, gave me a submachine gun already. Cool. 
That's a little bit, a little bit over overpowered. I was expecting to use my pistol. Heck, if there's there's so many of us, if we just shot trees, they would all die too. Kill nature. Sounds great. This like the best plan. How much you want to bet this ends up on the front page of the Factorio subreddit tomorrow morning? This massive the pistol push. We'll call it the pistol push 2016. Alright, two bases down. <laughs> it's like... Oh, we don't need to research armor, that's ridiculous. Oh crap, there's worms! Why are there worms already? <laughs> All the slow down. <laughs> I think we're all... I'm out, I'm out! I'm out of ma I have no ammo! <laughs> I'm out of iron! Jeez. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh, we just dropped a lot of players. I, yeah, I think I think this pistol pushes. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're down to 260. 265 now. We just lost almost 100 players. That was a bad idea. I'm wow. sorry. No. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Ten, ten, are dying. ten rounds of ammo is not very much. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm making 40 in my pocket right now. I have no iron. Oh, I gotta get out of here. No more ammo. God, what's the UPS? Oh, 50 50. It's just it's the server that's slowing down. <laughs> we need a four lane bus of ammo to the northwest. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Look at this. Just, <laughs> there's this little yes. iron patch right here. Everyone's coming back to it to grab this iron and make ammo. That's great. It's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> Someone's axing the worm. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, worm. <laughs> oh my god. Every time we do this, I always find something to just like smile from ear to ear about. It's crazy. Oh, I've I've just been smiling from ear to ear as soon as we you know, started. You, you know what? The, the list on the left hand side was just like joining, 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 joining. You, mm -hmm. you, you know what? I, I think that before everyone retreats, I think that the people chatting in, in uh in the comments are right there. Why why hold back? Just zerg it. Come on, we got axes. Let's go. You just gotta right click yeah, exactly. on the buildings, right? Just right click on buildings and things you hit him with your pick. Oh, space. You just... Is it not? You not just run towards it and hit space? Is that how it works? Okay. I was not... I I've never so. done it before, but yeah, let's, I'm gonna use my pick. I'm not gonna stop. Don't stop! Never give up! Never surrender! <laughs> it's actually quite a powerful weapon. Yeah, it says it does five damage. Our, our bolts are only doing uh, two right now. Uh, uh, <laughs> holding space is not working. I am not using my gun. How, how, how do you use a pick? Hold space. And run towards them. I'm not seeing an animation for it. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's working. I can't seem to hit the biter base with my space. This is ridiculous. Can you can you not attack uh, buildings with spacebar? I hit a, I hit a biter when he ran by, but oh, someone's using a shotgun. That's not smart. <laughs> <laughs> Mowing us <laughs> down indiscriminately. <laughs> is that a big one? That's a medium one. I don't think there can be medium or big at the start, can there? Depending on the settings. No, there's a medium here. We really? can still use them as clubs. Hello, Mr. Worm. I want to hug you. Uh oh. <laughs> Someone is working on their name and lights in the base. Oh no. The problem is that the medium worm has four armor. <laughs> we only do one damage to it. Well, it's, it's going down. <laughs> 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 Come on, everyone! Punch it! <laughs> Get him! Oh my God. 60, 50, 40, 30! It is dead! Yes! <laughs> that is a ridiculous sized base for pistols. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> this took an army of millions. Oh. I, I normally, if I was playing regular Factorio here, I, w I wouldn't be this far away from the base for at least four hours. <laughs> why would I? Yeah. Why would I ever go near the biters? Generally, only this far away from the base once you've got trains. Yeah. Well, you and I pretty much exclusively play with uh, RSO mod, right? Except you did do a vanilla yes. campaign recently. Uh, with RSO mod. <laughs> oh, you didn't even go pure vanilla. You you had to use RSO. Uh, I like oh. RSO. I, I had heard though that uh, vanilla had been updated, right? The map generation was updated to use uh, some more RSO-like settings or something. 
Yeah, apparently you can make it pretty much RSO. Oh god. Yeah, the terrain generation was significantly overhauled by uh, Cube. But the uh, main sort of RSO feature was um, that as you get further out from the like spawn location, the the zero zero on the map, mm -hmm. then the ore patches will actually get richer. Yeah. So you're sort of yeah. rewarded for exploring more. What? What? How are we getting objects destroyed? I also liked how oh, uh, there is beggars. Okay. RSO mod just basically made the resource patches much much more spread out, so you had more space to build. And uh, I, I never liked it when I felt like I was. Better off just building over resources because they were in the way. <laughs> it's like, oh, the, the bus needs to continue. So yeah, pretty much in vanilla, you don't need to worry about resource patches. Or at least that's the way it used to be anyway. But yeah. I've been playing with RSO for so long that anything I say about vanilla is pretty much worthless. Well, I've Correction. been playing vanilla um, with the new map generation and I love it. I it, it functions very much like RSO now, where you if you select you know very far apart, resource patches and it's really really nice should give it a try oh. i should wow we already have 112 steam engines operational that's 57 oh. megawatts we're good to go power's fine <laughs> nice and i'm kicked again oh server don't go down please not sure please. if the power is fighting on the server though <laughs> yeah this time it looks like it uh no 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 we're fine okay <laughs> Oh, is the password still on the server? <laughs> you, you know... You know it'd be fun. <laughs> you can send, uh... You can send satellites into orbit by using a rocket. Why can't we put players in them? <laughs> we should just be able to <laughs> launch some of our, our minions off into space by putting them in the rocket. <laughs> minions? That's rude. Well, Jesus. You can put anything you like inside of the rocket. You can put a fish in the rocket, some copper cable in the rocket, anything you want. Mm -hmm. You can put a fish in the rocket? Yeah, haven't you seen the achievement, uh, so long and thanks for all the fish? Yes, that's why, that's, oh my god, Arumba. What? You're <laughs> acting like you didn't know, so I thought you didn't Social know. Social constructs are just so gone in your mind, aren't they? <laughs> hmm. I thought you legitimately didn't know. I was trying to help you out, man. Aww. I was being a nice guy, and you were, now so you're, here you are. I see. There are people who are trying to do the circuit network, but they're... Like, some of them are still oh, that's... on the old tutorial, and then there's one beside it who's on the new tutorial. <laughs> yeah, there's there's somebody here using everything instead of anything. Everything won't work if uh, the tile ever gets mixed up. You gotta use anything. Yeah, I, well, I if, mean... If the tile ever gets mixed up, then... Uh, shit. Yeah, it's gonna be a problem either way, but... Hmm. Okay, I should probably pick up some copper and start actually... Working with these circuit networks. Uh, I would love to have some better uh, smelters, but I guess there's not not, not really ever. necessary when you got this many stone furnaces. I mean, this is such a ridiculously long thing already. One of my favorite changes, I gotta say, in this this patch that you guys did today is the uh, the server not saving for every player. It's so much better. It's just amazing how much better it is. So is there, uh, was there anything changed with autosave? Well, I thought that I, I, I was talking to Clonin and he mentioned that it was not autosave related, the issues we were having last week. So, uh, you and I thought that it was oh. related to that, but he said no, it's not. My Oh, I'll need to talk to my uh, my server admins then, because they says that there was something to do with autosave that was causing lag spikes. Wrong. Well, I think it wasn't the autosaves, but the saving to send the map to the right, players. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because it was saving with every person. Every single person yeah. that joined was getting a, a discrete save of their own, instead of just getting the bulk upload now. Right, this this, this circuit network looks really funny when it's uh, a vertical bus. Yes, it's uh, it's very hard to wrap my hand around, actually. <laughs> oh, someone gave me some red wire. Nice, thanks. <laughs> they want you to get to work, is what it is. Is that like, Steejo, you haven't built anything? What the hell, man? Ah, I've been trying to use longer reach. Yay! 
We've got our techno lights again. <laughs> hey. <laughs> that is very decorative. Well, someone's doing Bentham as well. That's nice. Is Bentham here? Aww. I haven't seen Bentham since uh, last Thursday, I think it was. Is Bentham in chat? I invited him to the server on Skype, but he's in Do Not Disturb, so I'm not sure if he uh, saw it. Yeah, Do Not Disturb's a thing. I think it's it's time to start doing some of these like priority lanes on, on like every branch. Why not, right? Yep. They're not very yeah, resource that's intensive, fair. that's the thing. Yeah, that's one of the points. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Bentham is here. He's not on the call though. He's actually he's in actually chat. Playing. He's in chat. Oh, okay. I don't see him as part of the group. Yeah, apparently Bentham <coughs> got uh, got murdered by a biter a bit ago. So he's definitely in game. <laughs> you should see the console. So many people are trying to connect over the limit. <laughs> wow. Are we still password protected or is that off now? It's I'm off. trying to slowly increase. Okay. We're at 275. How, how did somebody find the iron necessary to make all of those lights? <laughs> it seems like a waste. <laughs> oh. We need other things more than we need lights. No. No. <laughs> we need techno Celebrations stages. first! Yeah. <laughs> right, let's start doing these nice. uh, priority lanes. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, that's the Stigio one, not the Clonin one that someone's done there. Well, I like I like the I, Clonin. I, I don't feel I don't feel right taking like ownership of it. though. <laughs> I like Clonin's method for checking belt fullness, or like if the belt is moving, but for the second and third and fourth lanes, I don't think that that method works well. So like it works really well for the the, the one circuit network check, um, oh, yeah, for the yeah, belt totally. coming off if, the bus. If you try to use that for a shuffle, then you need to do a lot of underground belts and a lot of... Uh, it's mm -hmm. just, just going to take a lot of space. Yeah, I'm gonna check out. Uh, I'm gonna try to build this this uh, image that was sent to us earlier today. Can? Oh yeah, the uh, the new thing. Uh, well, we don't really need to do a two two belt branch off right now, but uh, I just like how it's kind of all in line. Of course, it does use an extra underground belt. Oh, biters incoming! <laughs> wow. <sighs> yep, everyone's uh, telling us there is a password again. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get Martin in. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to join as well. Mm, it's not happening. Right, if anything is... I like how sometimes when you're trying to do things and people are like disagreeing with you, you just have to keep on paint like stubbornly doing it until they let you do it. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god's sakes, there's, there's iron on the coal line! <laughs> oh. I might give up though soon because people are not letting me build the, the layout that I'm trying to build, which is different than the one you've seen before, so yes, it's different intentionally. Please stop removing it. <laughs> yeah, good luck. <laughs> There's a reason why it's different. It's, this is the one that's it utilizes this. It, it pulls from the second line, which is it visually it, it doesn't actually change much. But uh, ah, you know what? Forget it. We're just not gonna mess with it. People are not gonna <laughs> understand it. So I'm just gonna. I guess I'm just gonna watch. I'm just gonna watch the factory grow. I think the issue with that though is if you're you're using the priority splitters to push it all down the bottom line or the closest line. Then, if you're going to try and pull from the middle two lanes to do like a two lane split off, then you're gonna have issues. Mm -hmm. Well, 
the image that I'm looking at actually has nice little green arrows and everything showing showing the shifts and priority lanes and stuff. It's really really quite nice looking. And then the way he's got it laid out is um so like let's say you need to do a two belt branch. You pull from the second and third lane, and then after the branch, you do your shuffle to re re mm -hmm. reassess the uh, the bottom lane priority. But oh right, okay. I mean, you would have, you ended Hello. up doing an extra one altogether. Hey, Bentham. Hey. I was here the whole time. You just didn't notice me. <laughs> oh. Okay, kind of like <laughs> kind of like in that oh. one Factorial campaign where you joined like twenty episodes in or whatever. <laughs> you just pretend it was like your fault. There. Started without me. Well, you were you were <laughs> supposed to be there. No, I distinctly remember you were like, oh yeah, I'll be there, and then you weren't there. <laughs> then that's not how it happened. Well, that's how I remember it. I didn't say it was true. Mm. <laughs> wow. I, I've been over in the east building my own little empire. Which mainly involves just watching other people build things and then pretending I own it. <laughs> <laughs> I made this. <laughs> I made a sign. That means I own it. Wow, the game is uh, pretty unplayable right this second. Wow, yeah. It's like it forgets what's in my hand. My inventory, like a... Uh, Yeah, it's funky because it shows only 248 uh, people online, and yet it's very, very laggy for me. Yep. Yes, it's, it's exactly when I just open to a few more players, I can uh -huh. hear you. Oh, it's getting laggy. Everyone complains. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> so, so is the issue that, uh, okay, so it's like, what, like a binary check. Is the server full or is it not full? And then it's letting everyone try to connect? Or is there like a queue in place where... You, you increase the limit by 20, and so the 20 people who tried to join the longest ago are now allowed in? How does that... I increase the limit by 20, basically, first 20 people who manage to click join okay. get a spot. The problem is that the map then saves, and 20 people will try to download the map at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I've set the upload limit, but unfortunately it's too high, so... It okay. will limit the maximum speed of the server. I see. Uh, I so have is a solution. It fine now? <laughs> yeah, it's fine now. It just whatever you just did, like literally two seconds ago, it now runs perfect again. Um, I think a join queue would be a good idea. But but here's the thing, and and I think you guys might be receptive to this. I'm hoping you got to look into cloud-based or not necessarily not cloud-based, uh, torrenting-based. The what's it called? Not torrenting, but that you mean method. P -P? Yeah, peer to peer. Yeah. Have have every player connected help facilitate transferring save files instead okay. of having the server be responsible for that. Have the server be the brain of the operation and actually control whatever is going on with like determinism or whatever. But have I mean there's hundreds of gigabytes of upload rate available with four hundred players. If each of them helped wow. out if you want an example of what that would be be like for multiplayer then you can probably go to 0 0.13 or 0 0.12 and I was gonna say try that's the multiplayer the, there. That's oh, what the old okay. monthly used to be like. Hmm. I see. It was moving away from peer-to-peer -peer that let us do all this awesomeness. Yeah, peer-to-peer -peer was terrible. Can you not remember the first couple of multiplayer series that were done? Yeah, I remember. I was, how I uh, could never connect to anyone ever. Yeah, that was yeah. not great. <laughs> it's not great. Looks like I may have gotten kicked. Or something. That's what you get for suggesting peer to peer. <laughs> I got a desync report when I put down a wooden chest. Ooh. Oh, useful. That's the real crime, putting down a wooden chest. Yeah. <laughs> the Karezi was just going to shoot it. At least it wasn't an iron one. <laughs> so if you have a desync report, um, if you kind of like upload it to the bug forum, and then we can have someone take a look. Sure. Uh, it's, I use the Steam install. Where are the desync reports saved? Uh, app data, roaming, okay. Factorio, and then it'll be in temp, I believe. Oh, now I have a fatal crash. Unexpected error occurred. If you're running the latest version, can you help us solve this problem by posting the contents to the forum? Uh, we'll need your log as well then. Okay, so... You're just breaking all the things. I didn't do anything, it just broke! What did you broke. do? It just what did broke. you do? <laughs> Good luck Legend getting testing. in That's now. That's what he's doing. <laughs> so is, is it the call for the team? Is it the whole folder you need then, or? So inside the temp folder, there should just be one 
folder, I think, or a zip. I see mp-download, I see desync-report, currently-playing, there's file folders in here. Uh, Twinson? Oh. Uh, I mean, I can, figure, Twinson. I can figure it out later, but I, I figure if anyone else is I watching or playing in this stream right now, and they desync, that going through it on, um, on the stream might help. It's not to in temp, actually. Go back one directory, and is there one called archive? Yes. Uh, Got it. There should just be one file in there. Okay, so we go to this thing here, the... So, like, if, if, you're, if you're following along at home, or you're actually, like, having a decent report of your own, hopefully no one is, but I imagine some people... So there's got to be some percentage of people who are. Uh, go to, like, your command, uh, your folder thing in Windows, and type percent app data. And you go to Factorio, archive, desync report. And then you want these to be submitted in what form? Where, where in the uh, forms? The form. I will find it. Web reports. Can we get the uh, can we get the flashing lights to be different colors at different times, instead of all the same colors? <laughs> that was to the players, by the way. <laughs> Does that say Bentham or? Will this uh, H where? H e n t a i. No, that's not right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding. There's a H in there, so it's it's okay. I'm not even going. I'm not even going there. <laughs> Is that the Bentham sign back in the? Oh jeez, what have they it's done? A, it's a velocity, Joe. The the B has changed to H, and <laughs> the M is an I. So, <laughs> so I did the archive, the desync report, and then was there there was another thing then because of the app crash itself. Where's yeah. that one? In nice. the Factorio roaming directory, there should be a Factorio current dot log. Okay. I'm never going to look at my own name the same way again. <laughs> <laughs> what have they done? <laughs> okay, cool. Well, I, uh, naughtiness, that's all. I've got to head out for a little while, but I'll be back in about three hours to join you guys again, assuming everything's going. I'm very curious to see how big this factory gets in three hours. <laughs> um, all right, well. all right. All right. Thanks see for you guys joining. in a bit. I'll see you soon. Yeah, later. see you later. Bye bye. All right. Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. I uh, one of these days I'm going to get the the timing right on that song and the uh, the countdown timer. We'll see. Go ahead and get into the game. We're not quite ready to start up. Um, I want to let everyone know kind of where things are at. I did drop in on the earlier stream. Um, unfortunately, uh, I wasn't able to stay for very long. I only had about an hour or so. But, uh, it was amazing. I can tell you that much. We, uh, we were able to play with like 300 to 350 players earlier this afternoon. And here's the thing. I know just a, a small amount of details about the situation right now. Um, the server that the Factorio development team rented is based out of New York. And we were actually having some, some latency type connection issues, and I think the reason for that was that most of the people who were joining the earlier stream were actually on European time. So they're, you know, connecting across the transatlantic cable, and there could have potentially been some some issues with the uh, the performance of that, with uh, three, four hundred people trying to connect across the ocean. But uh, because of the time of day, and the fact that uh, it's like one or two in the morning over there right now, I'm thinking we might have a, a pretty good shot here at breaking this record. Alright, cool, I just got confirmation from Twinson that this server is ready, so what we're going to do then is uh, probably going to Sort of, sort of, sort of call here with the developers. We're going to talk to them for a moment or two, and then uh, we'll go ahead and get a stream, stream game started here for everyone. And uh, we're going to go for the record tonight. So, thanks for the resubs as well. Um, I have missed a couple of them. Thank you for the subscribers who subscribed before the stream actually started. You guys are awesome as always. But um, all right. All right, cool. Well, let me introduce you to the uh, some of the Factorio development team. We'll uh, go around the room and I'll let people introduce themselves, just in case you haven't heard of, heard of or from them before. But uh, let me get a connection going here. Hello. 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 Hey, everybody. 
All right. So uh, I, I was earlier, uh, I was in the call earlier, but uh, just, just for the sake of the people who didn't make that stream, um, let's see, who, who do we have in here? I think we have Clonin. Hello, that's me, community manager. All right, fantastic. We've got uh, a Softy, which is Twinson, right? A Softy? That's what shows you, shows up as your name. I don't know. That's what it's showing up as in the call. Ah, Robert. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, your alias and, is uh, uh, Twinson, right? Yes. And I will be the circuit network guy and programmer. The circuit network guy. Awesome. I'm a big fan of your work, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Good uh, to you. We've got Kovarex. Hello, it's me. And uh, I'm, I, I don't want to get this wrong, so would you mind, uh, what, what is it exactly is your title, or what do you do uh, at the, well, on, the, on the team? Basically, I'm the main programmer and founder of Factorio. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Thank you for being here, by the way. And then uh, Catherine of Sky. Hello, I'm a uh, um, moderator on the Steam forums, and I also do some recordings of Factorio for fun. Awesome, cool. Okay, so those are the uh, those are the voices. If uh, if anyone ever has any questions uh, throughout the stream here while we're we're going for the the record, um, feel free to drop them in the the chat on the Twitch stream, and we'll try to get those questions answered if uh, if they come up. Well, we won't make it too too question and answery, but uh, the goal tonight is just to to try to break the record on multiplayer, right? So, quick little quick little bit of history in case anyone missed it over the last week on Tuesday. It was just, it's only been one week. It's amazing to me. On Tuesday of last week, out of the blue, Stijo and I had been talking about doing a, a big, huge multiplayer session, so we did it. We had like 150 people connect to my computer, and my computer nearly exploded. Uh, Thursday, we had somebody offer a server, and we connected to that, and we got like two or 300, we think. And then you guys decided to rent your own server. So, uh, who, who made that decision? I'm curious. Uh, this sort of came from a discussion between me and Twinson. Yeah. Yes. about you know how great it would be if, if we could really sort of promote it and see if we could get it like push it to the limit with our resources and you know your expertise as well mm -hmm. yeah well I, I i was able to try it out for a little bit and i was amazed to see how well the game was running that server you rented must be a very strong one uh, it's, it's the best twinson could find so <laughs> <laughs> on short notice right <laughs> no <laughs> on short notice yeah we'll see now, uh, we might explode this one, so let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, I'm getting a question from chat right now. Some of the uh, the Twitch chat wants to know if any of you are actually in chat, if they can tweet, like message at you throughout the stream and, and try to get your attention that way, or if you're going to just be in-game only. I'm in the chat as Clonan TV. Okay, let me go ahead and I'll just... I'm in the chat as Twinson, but I'll I'm mostly be in-game. I'm in the chat as Kovarex, but I'm not able to watch three chats at the same time and play the game, so... <laughs> you, need, just, you just need some more practice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, there is also one of my moderators wanting to know what your Twitch usernames are, but we just covered that. So yes, Clonin TV. someone can go through the list there and uh, maybe get those jotted down. And I'm sure the moderators will take a look at your chat as well then. Okay, I understand the okay. server is good to go. Uh, it's not online yet, but uh, how did you guys want to do this? Do you want to start off small and then go bigger, or do you want to just open the floodgates from the start? I would, I open would the start floodgates. smaller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Out of curiosity, uh, how long did you guys do the earlier save, and how big did the factory get? Until like five minutes ago. It was a long, long play. Wow. And it was massive. It was. It got big. It basically got... Let's see. EOC. None of you guys are in the game, though, are you? You all got kicked. <laughs> uh, Rumba, I think you have your own stream open. Oh, am I getting some echo? No, I don't. Uh, I, w I was hearing... Alright, I'm gonna see if I can do this, then. Uh... Oh, never mind. Oh, this is fantastic. So if I if I type this, it's going to show up on the stream. I actually have to hide my window for a second because the uh, the password shows up in chat lock. I'm going to go ahead and change the password now to um, something else. And then what's the command to raise the server cap? Slash config. config space ma max minus players space number. Okay, you guys can join using the same password we used earlier, if you'd like, if you got kicked out. Oh yeah, perfect. 
player cap has been raised, and you guys should be allowed to get in, and no one else should be allowed to try to join, unfortunately. We were at 48 when I checked, so... And now that I'm not getting myself DDoSed, hopefully, uh, we can continue to, uh, you know... Build this factory. I'm able to download at a good rate. <clears throat> okay, I'm in. And if you guys want, like, we, we can. We can go back to the other one, but uh, I feel like we're already kind of committed down this path, so... Yeah, it's fine. I think we got some good testing done on the, the other server anyway. Besides, we gotta yell at them, right? Mm. Yep. <laughs> we'll start writing an email right now. Alright, I'm still gonna make a red... Something making nothing but red. Red belt. Is the, uh, the connection okay? I mean, from my perspective, it's great, but of course it is. Um, uh, how about Aruba, you guys? I'm, I think your stream might still be black. Oh, yeah, yeah. thank you. I, uh, I hid the game for a second because I didn't want people to see the password as I typed it in, and I forgot to change it back. I apologize. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for mentioning that. Okay, I'm going to do one of these priority splitter guys. Well, we have a circuit network and everything. Thanks for mentioning that, otherwise I would have forgotten completely. I'm playing <laughs> Factorio. <laughs> so I'm a big fan of doing these uh, the the clonin style uh, belt throughput checker, which is where you you mm. split a feed into two so that you can measure two sections of belt, and the only way it can actually be full is if the end is backed up. It's a it's a great way to do it. However, I have noticed that if the belt's full and then it starts moving at perfectly full throughput, it still will technically register as true until there's a slight supply issue. Yeah. So it's just not the one imperfection. Yeah. So what about just getting uh, you know, a straight up a uh, a straight up circuit network check to just see is belt f moving? Is belt full? That'd be awesome. Well, you, you can do things with the pulse mode combinators and do some fancy maths. So maybe we'll leave it up to say it's sort of a gameplay solution. Yeah. I'm sure eventually there'll be some you know, perfect system that someone comes up with, and then it'll, it'll just become the standard like solution. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the number you had used was greater than 15. You actually used equal to 16, because 16 is the number that you will end up with in two tiles if the belts are stopped. Yeah. It'll always end up being 8 in each belt. So if we do greater than 15, that must mean 16. Or we could just say equal 16, but I usually don't like using exact integer equal things. Mm. Eh, it's fine. I just want to make sure that this initial belt gets all the iron, because this is the one making us red belt. Okay, what's the best way to message them, then? Um, I have to pull up Discord. How's my server doing, huh? You guys okay? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Fine well. Makes me feel good. Sweet. Wait till I have a thousand megabit internet. It'll be amazing. <laughs> I can't wait. Can't Hi. wait. I'm gonna... Oh, so many radars. Okay, the, the correct ratio of blue assembly machines making gears for red circuit factory, each red circuit, or each red belt factory needs five. So we need just a ton of gears to run this thing full bore. Oh, right, earlier before we were having those connection issues, I was going to figure out exactly how many uh, electric mining drills per yellow belt we can support. I think it's around 10 or 11 per side, but I wanted to do the actual math. Yeah. So now that... Like, you're hosting it on yours. I don't think it's unfair if you want to um, open it up to your subscribers. Yeah, I'm sending the message over, uh, the password over to the moderators. They're gonna be cautious about increasing the number. I raised the player cap to 100, and I don't really want to get all the way up to 100. 
but yeah. uh, I do feel like we should be able to allow at least the moderators to get in so that they can do their job and moderate, you know, if they want to. Mm. Yeah, and I think uh, your PC does seem quite stable. Oh, this is better than a New York server, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe not quite, but uh, it's, uh, it's doing okay. Getting the job done. There's a reason why we were able to get up to some couple hundred, like, last time. Yeah. 150 or whatever the number was. Alright, I don't think we want to redirect any of this iron. Like, this, all this iron should just stay here to make more red belt. So we can get all these things upgraded. Just keep it here, and if it's not being used, we need to make more gear factories. And I think I want to do this a little bit different as well. I, granted, it's a temporary setup, and I hate making temporary setups because temporary setups are bad, but... I have a history of doing them a lot, so... Hmm. But then again, build your factory to build your factory, right? Build a factory to help you build your factory. Exactly. Don't don't worry about all the details in the first hour, two hours. Eventually, you'll you'll fix it all up. I agree with that sentiment completely. That's five. This guy's consuming our iron to make belt that it doesn't really need to make. If anything, I think... Um, well, hold on, where are we making the... What's going on here now? <laughs> now I'm just confused. Okay, these... these... Over here. Game seems to be running great for me, um, but then again, I'm the host, so it should. How about you guys? Are you getting yeah. the, the same, like, stuttery, like... Snapping effect the server was doing, or is it? No, it's pretty good. I'm getting a solid 60 UPS. Okay, Discord is still saying it's preparing for a team fight. I apologize, William. Um, I if I feel like Discord is the most logical place to do it, and I can't get into Discord. I hate Discord, by the way. I know you seem to like it, but no, I don't like it. I need copper. I'll try to help by pre <laughs> by putting up <laughs> lamps. <laughs> that is useful, actually. I mean, there's value in that. I'm not gonna say there isn't. It's just uh, someone shut down the part that actually made the things that we needed to like make this thing work. Like, I don't know why they took it apart, but uh, it's not making any. Any transport belt anymore? And yeah, the gears are gone. Yeah, it just disappeared. I don't know why. I just I just put the uh, the yellow belt factory there. Let's do. Uh, it's just one to one for the. Yeah, for the yellows. Well, we've only got five factories over there, so I was going to do another gear factory specifically for this one. I love, I, I do, it took me a while to adjust to it, but I really do love the uh, inserters being able to pick up multiple items off the belt. At first I was really bummed out when you guys axed the loader, but uh, I'm okay now, it's good. Yeah, we feel it, it's just a, a more pleasant solution overall. It still keeps the logistics side of it, but and doesn't make things trivial, Yeah. but it still you know makes the belts more useful in the late game. Mm-hmm really like that feature too that regular inserters can can also benefit from the bonus once you reach search it oh yeah i remember i used to always try to always be moving from entity to box just to give the inserters the ability to use the stack size bonus yeah so that's the thing like in the late game the logistic bots would just completely overpower any belt based builds yeah i i noticed that uh it seems like robots take just a metric ton of power now. Do you guys nerf them really hard or something? I must have missed that patch note. Yes, it was intentional. Yeah, they are Is it incredibly expensive, like 50 megawatts for a tiny little factory just for robot recharging. Uh, on the other hand, the RoboPort's uh, energy consumption was decreased a lot. 
like five times. So it's much, much cheaper to, co to cover some era, but much more expensive to actually use the robots. So using uh, repair robots to repair stuff is not that expensive, power-wise. But if you use logistic robots, it shouldn't be that easy. That was the point. I like it. I think it's a good change. It uh, shakes things up a bit. One mod, I gotta admit, I'm missing right now is uh, Bottleneck. I've gotten so used to having those little green dots letting me know if factories are running well. But I'm a, I'm a pretty, pretty big modding type player. I love mods. Mm. Do you have any mods that you guys use, or do you usually stick to vanilla? Well, I have my own mods I, I created and used. Which ones were those? Uh, probably the one you know the most is the Crafting Speed Research. Oh yeah, I'm a fan of that one. Yeah, and I also got some utility ones, like I made a tool for creating screenshots, things for setting tiles when I want to have this uh, specific background we use for like... Um, I used to do it when making GIFs, so it loads the file size. And also stuff... Um, I have a lot of random sort of mods. Sort of a holdover from before I joined the team. Is uh, modding what got you invited or involved with Factorio development? Or how did you guys, how did, how did you make the connection there? Well, apply? apply? I, was, <laughs> I was modding for, for a couple of months, maybe half a year. And then I was active on the forum, on the Reddit, and I was talking to people on Twitch and YouTube and just like, Overall, interacting a lot with the community, and so then the, you know, the job offer got posted for a community manager, and uh, well, I just had to had to apply. And so that's uh, pretty much how I joined the team. I joined uh, February this year, just before Steam release, and uh, since then everything's things been going really great. Hmm. <coughs> It does seem, um, a lot of the other games that I play, like Paradox Interactive specifically, a lot of their, their core developing team usually ends up becoming people who came from a modding background or were just heavily involved in the game's history or development, and they usually end up being recruited at some point if they're good at what they do. Yeah. We get a lot of job applications from people that just say, like, I really love the game, I just want to be involved in, in any way I can. And it's just really great to, to, you know, have people that interested that... That's a great motivation for them, you know? We want people to come to the office to be very happy, to want to work, to want to make the game as great it is. And so I think that's where, you know, part of the magic comes from. Yeah, look at that, we already got tool belt. That's kind of nuts. We need cool to get that, uh... Chat. I was gonna say, it's cool watching chat, everybody's Southwest is protected, Northwest is protected. It's like, we have our army working for us, this is cool. <laughs> the red shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I love these lights that some people do, I, I mean, they must really know a lot about the circuit network conditions to make this stuff work. I, I would just sit and stare at it for hours to try to make it do its job, I don't know. It's not my thing. I, I like trying to get as much production per second as I can, and... Looking, I like, I like, I like pulling up a calculator, you know, and doing the math to see like how many machines of this type do I need to support this many machines of that type. That's more my style. Now we need steel and stone brick. We need to start upgrading these. Now that we got the red belts, we need to upgrade all these furnaces to uh, steel. To, to yeah. steel. Do we have any brick production that's happened anywhere? I mean, we've got this huge, huge smelting area right on the stone mine, but probably no brick coming in. Uh oh, I just I just I just was cycling through the commands and I just accidentally made the uh, <laughs> the password visible. All right, feel free. Um, I mean the password if you saw it, it's, it's turtle. <laughs> We're gonna go up to 100 <laughs> players now. I'll uh, just do that. Like I I I I'm trying. I don't. I mean I'm sorry guys. I'm trying to get the darn Discord thing to work, but it's literally not starting. It's just like I don't want to. I need to update. Leave me alone. It's being a stupid program. 
Oh, here we go. Steel furnaces being made. Uh, could you uh, direct me to them? Where are they? <laughs> Whoa. Alright, I'm probably gonna end up getting my stream broken again now. Yeah. It was a mistake. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna change the password again before it gets too crazy. I think it's down. Yep, server not responding. Oh, oh, oh it's back, oh. back, back. Maybe. Wait a second, <laughs> if I change the password on the fly, will people who are doing the handshake and like trying to connect not have the right password and get kicked? If they've already started downloading the map, then, uh, well, there's nothing we can do. Yeah, okay. All right, let me go through the process here, make sure the stream's still live and all that stuff. 978 potential players. What, that's the number of people on the stream still right now? Yeah. Let's see. Wow. Okay. Twitch is showing me live again. Looks like we're okay. Your computer is such a tease, Arumba. It's It keeps giving me server not responding, and then it goes back. And then <laughs> I speed up and go all over the place. I'm sorry. I have no worries. better no, internet. Fun. It's coming it's soon, cool. I promise. <laughs> okay, where are these... Uh, where are these steel furnaces being made? They're being made, being made somewhere. We even have like a steel production line? We must, right? I don't feel like we're gonna get as much uh, accomplished in this stream as uh, we did earlier on, because we, we actually do have far fewer players. It is noticeable. 50 versus 200 gets a lot less done. So I'm having a good time. And I'm glad to be able to you know, spend time talking to you guys and asking you questions and stuff. Just generally bugging you. It's fun for me. Yeah, I'm not seeing the steel furnaces anywhere, so... That means I need to make my own little area! <laughs> oh well. I mean, people are still downloading and catching up. That's Some. That's a rough way to join. This person just joined. This person was killed by small biter. <laughs> so sad. Light show. This is great. Ah, it's the famous Yarp, who was um, in the other factory as well. Is Yarp like a really good player, or? I, well, he was building this uh, arrow in the other factory, and he kept changing the um, the way it flashed the lights, like every I don't know twenty minutes or so. So every time you'd walk over, it was it was different. It was really cool. <laughs> good old Yarp. <laughs> yeah, I see him working on this one now. Awesome. I like it. 170 steam engines already. Oh, oh my god! Are serious! Oh Ow. my god, look at all of these radars! Yes! <laughs> Holy crap, someone's connected, they've connected 87 radars! Oh my goodness. I wonder if we should take some of them down because they do take a lot of power. It's one guy, C city, city of. He's got 89 of them now. 26 megawatts worth of power in radar. I mean, we have the capacity to do it. We're gonna burn through a lot of coal that way, though. Wow. Okay, now I'm getting comments saying the stream has uh, crashed, but I thought I had checked it and it was live. Maybe I'm wrong. Is you, ha you have to choose, it's either the game or the stream. Well, the stream is only crashing when uploading the map to a lot of people. So, yeah, mm -hmm. it looks like it might be down. I will be able to host this. I will be able to handle it next week. <laughs> I, I probably shouldn't, but I, I could. Maybe. <clears throat> but I'd much rather use your server, the more I think about it. How long are you planning on hosting it or keeping it? Is it going to be a permanent thing or we, temporary? We have it for a month. Oh wow. I 
and I send them a ticket asking them uh, what is happening, why, what are we disconnecting. So hopefully we will fix it. Well, hopefully and they know. Not. Maybe they'll know that you're serious business now, and they'll give you the good server. Maybe they. <laughs> I would not be surprised if I was a company that like lent out servers. I probably would have multiple tiered machines, right? They're not going to all be the exact same, and so yeah, you give them a product, and then you hope it's good enough, and maybe you do some stress tests on it later on, and say, oh yeah, this server should be. They should get the good one. They should get Bessie. Yeah. This guy gets the crap one. <laughs> you guys need the good one. Clearly. Oh, someone's messing with the old... Uh... We have eight lanes of iron. That's yeah, surely not what we want. Eight lanes of iron with none lanes of steel, and we're already at that point right now where we we have a steel crunch. Mm -hmm. We need a lot oh. of steel to start upgrading stuff. We should. I think I see what happened. The server thought that it's under DDoS. Oh, the to close oh, the New York one did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow. They've already responded to you and they told you that's what happened? <laughs> no, I checked the logs. Oh, it and actually tells you like, I'm under struggle. attack! <laughs> no. <laughs> Just a bunch of wild Factorio players. <laughs> we had, uh, what is this? Two gigabits attack coming to this server. Jeez. Wow. It actually like archives that it was under attack. That's a crazy, that's awesome. I mean, I, I mean, yeah, it makes sense, right? It actually does happen. It's not just a term that is for fun in games. People, people do that stuff for, for fun, I guess. All right, I, uh, I'm gonna make a, a decision. Some people may or may not agree with it, but I don't care. Uh, we're going to turn around one of these things and turn it into a steel belt because it needs to be steel. We need steel. I need steel. Oh. What's that? Something bad happened? Oh no, just auto save. Freaked me out a little bit. I think somebody's already making steel in one of these sets of furnaces. Which one? I didn't see any. I, I walked up um, and down he's it. He's putting iron on the... Or a couple of the furnaces are making steel. Yeah. It was just a mistake. I, I think yeah. it's a, a lot easier just to reverse one of the steel column or iron columns and then you send its output down in other lanes input. Isn't it? Seems easier to me. Oh, indeed it is. I'm just wondering why are these uh, furnaces making steel when they shouldn't be? I'm gonna the lines. Alright, mm, number, row number 20 or whatever is now steel. And, uh, I don't know where to send it, so we'll just send it somewhere. Into a chest. <laughs> That's a normal common solution for me. Where, where do we put it? I don't know. Put it into a chest. <laughs> mm. Everything goes into a box. Of course, I also love robots, so... That strategy usually works out pretty well for me. I mean, if somebody wants to send that someplace reasonable, I think, like, if it were me, just playing all by myself right now, I would send that entire line, connect it with an entire stone line, and just have it make nothing but steel furnaces. Like, that's what I want right now, you know? Yeah. Or maybe some walls that might be quite useful. Walls? What are those? I usually don't play with miters, I'm sorry. Mm. I I, gotta, I just gotta get on my, you know, little soapbox for a second and just say, I, I think that biters are the worst part of this game. I mean, I understand why they're there. I understand you need to have a bad guy, but, uh... I love this game for so many reasons, and Biters is certainly not one of them. 
they to me they, they just bring chaos to order and the game is all about logistics and organization and planning and throughput and numbers and biters are complete opposite of all that. I just don't like them. But that's just me. Well, it's a good reason there's peaceful mode then. Yeah. I uh peaceful mode though, they they I I forget. Do they not even spawn in that mode? Or do they uh they spawn, they just don't attack you straight away. If you attack them, they defend themselves, but they won't be the aggressor. Yeah, I usually use RSO mod and I just straight up disable them so they don't take any any resources at all to spawn. And then I have a, another mod that does uh, alternate alien science packs, so you can spend lots of resources to create purple science packs. Yeah. And I prefer that. Quite a bit. I'm being dropped from the game. Really? Yep. I'm out. Quinson, oh. Clonan. Same. I'll check internet again. Yes. And uh -oh. it's my turn now. Me too. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, something's happened to me. My, my, my game is freezing up. It's just completely stopped for the moment. This may be a bug report. Yes. I mean, my internet's still good. Because you guys can hear me. Right? The internet's fine. Yep. Yeah, oh. the internet's good. Oh, I'm back in. Now it seems fine. What was that? So there's no actual crash. How can I tell? Like, how can I let you guys know what just happened? It just hung. Ooh, something's getting destroyed. Uh, what is the password, by the way? I will not type it in chat. Uh, I will put it here. <laughs> oh my goodness. I apologize. I don't know why it. Uh, I don't have no idea what happened, and I wish I could tell you. Oh, we we, we, we could tell you. It's one of those mysteries. So we used our server as the backup server? <laughs> kind of not expected, but uh, it worked out. Might be useful if we start uh, researching blue science stuff, oil things. Okay, I'm back in. Alright. I apologize for kicking you. It wasn't my fault. I didn't mean to do it. I would love to see a simple way to use just like a very, very small number of combinators to modify... What I want to do, what I actually spent a couple hours on the weekend trying to figure out how to do, um... I would love to make a counter that I can use to modify how long a pulse will last. What I want it to do is, if an item enters a section of belt, there is a pulse mm. pulse trigger. I want to send that through a combinator somehow that then I can multiply by like 60 to say, you know, count for one second. I want to unlock the gate for one second and then I want to close the gate again. So long as something comes in, I want it to refresh the counter. I want to basically increase the length of my pulse check from one tick to 60 ticks. Because... I, that should be possible with one decider, I believe. I would, the top. I would love to know how. Um, Stijo and I uh, have figured out that if you do... If you wire up eight sections of belt and put them all on pulse, that uh, that can also detect a moving belt, because... At any given point, all one of them will be going off. So that can work as a, uh, a, a moving belt detector. But I figured just by increasing the length of the pulse, it would work as well on a single belt check. Yeah. Oh, y Yarp says he has a, uh, a solution for you. Oh, wait. Yeah, look at the top of these iron smelters. I'm looking at it right now. What is this? Okay. What are we doing here? We are reading on hold mode. That is going into a constant combinator that is on and outputting signal T. If iron ore is zero, output T input count. If T is greater than 60, enable or disable. I don't understand. Someone who's smarter than I am. How, why? How does this work? I don't get it. <laughs> Combinators are like the newest thing in the game from my perspective. The biggest new thing you guys added, so I still have not really ever gotten on board with them fully. 
Combinators are in game for almost a year and a half now. I know, they scare me, so I've avoided them for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this flashing Factorio sign. The letters so, just light up in sequence, it's awesome. So if we pause this thing... Hey, there, it went. It's wor How does this work? You don't get it. So cool. Okay, now it's been changed. Someone has changed it to pulse instead of hold. Is it supposed to be on pulse or hold? Does it make any difference? It should. Of course it makes a difference. Constantly counting upwards reset when iron enters. Oh, okay. So the constant combinator is incrementing by one every tick. So it's counting like 60 ticks per second. And if iron ore equals zero, meaning that no iron ore has come in, that means that the belt is stopped. Otherwise, iron ore would be entering. It doesn't necessarily have to be iron ore. Couldn't you use anything equals zero? And then that would work for all belts? Let me just test it. If I just change it to anything. I think that's a more general solution. Uh, well, it would work if someone had just disconnected the feed. Okay, yeah. So the anything equals zero. And so, if anything equals zero, this thing is overriding the signal, the constant combinator count. Is that right? And only if T gets to be greater than zero, which is one second, then is the top one allowed to work. So this is exactly what I was talking about. That's incredible. And it used a constant combinator and a decider. <coughs> and you can scan... Corner belts, that doesn't matter. You could scan, it's just a singular section of belt. But if you wanted to actually do like a, a cascade type feature, you would, you would have to use one of these on every single cascade priority splitter. But you don't really need it outside of the one belt that's going down. I like it. I like it a lot. I need to keep a save of this. I'm going to save the game right now, just like so look at this thing later. <laughs> cool combinator. I love it. I do apologize to anyone who's watching the stream right now and wishing that they could have joined us. Um, we will be doing another session on Tuesday, probably, or maybe even Thursday this week, either using the Factorio uh, development team's server, or possibly I'll just do it myself if the internet's good enough, or if it's easier, depending on what you guys are planning on doing with your server. But um, yeah. things are stable, and I just don't want to mess with it right now. You know, people are getting in... Shouldn't it yeah, continue? I mean, that's, that's fair. Uh, someone picked up all my lights. So me. If you remove belt here, it stops. I may have broken it by changing it to, uh, to anything. But now it's set back to iron ore. No, it's working. <coughs> okay, and then if it's, if it's anything, though, let's see if it's, that's what's breaking it. Interesting, so the anything is breaking it. What about everything? What's the difference between anything, everything, and iron ore? <laughs> I don't understand. Oh, no. oh, oh there goes there goes Twinson and Clonin. You guys can't keep up with the server. Why is that happening? Oh, there's too much internet in these poor little check pipes. So. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was just watching your light thing in your factories. Yeah, so someone took out my lights. Oh. I, I set it all up for the inserters and it was all flashing nice, and, and then I, I turn around and someone picked them all up. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna hunt that person down and um, we can regret it. Can you tell who removes an object? Um, um, not really, because yeah. it's gone then. So, so I have the what to say. I can see, check the video, see somehow the replay. Yeah, ah, I'll find them. Yes, the replay. We will find you and disable your Steam key. <laughs> <laughs> so why, uh, why does this thing work with iron ore equals zero, but not anything each or everything? It's only working when it's a specific item. Is it because the input signal counts as each or anything? 
It must. I don't know. I want to keep messing with it, but I really like it. That's a really cool layout. Who who first built this? Yarp? Was it you? Yarp. Looks Yarp like Yarp. is like the Combinator King in this today. Yeah, I mean, he just made that thing and he's like, oh, it's easy. There you go. What? Damn, dude. That's awesome. I like it. It's so cool just to watch it. So if you stop this, now this thing is going to just count indefinitely. So you could come back like an hour later and it's going to be like T equals 40,000 or whatever. That's cool. Very neato. Did, uh, did Steve just see that earlier or was that just now being revealed now? I think it was just now. Oh, that's really cool. I like this method better, I think. Actually, let's, let's do a little bit of math here. Clonin, your solution requires two splitters, because you got to split a line and then recombine the line. Yep. Two splitters costs 16 iron and 7.5 copper plate. So two times that, it's uh, 32 iron and 15 copper. This setup only requires a single decider and a single constant combinator and two extra bits of wire. So a single so combinator. So you're out the calculator? I'm gonna, yeah. So a single decider is uh, 5 and 10, single constant is 2 and 5.5. .5. So we're looking at uh, 7 iron and 11 copper, and then the two bits of wire adds another 2 and 4. Yep, yeah, this is actually cheaper. By like, Always find the better way. By like almost nothing, but still, it's, it's slightly, slightly cheaper. And actually, one thing I didn't consider is that on your setup, you actually have to measure two sections of belt, so that's another bit of wire. So you're only spending yep. one extra wire. It's even more cheaper. Oh, that looks so weird. Can you come over to the radars next? To the smelting? All the radars down there at the bottom? I mean, what, what have you done with all these radars? <laughs> Overall production. Went, Look at that. 7.6k uh, iron per minute. It's not bad. I mean, it's not as productive as I was hoping it might be, but we still got a lot done, considering we had some, some server restarts and connection issues and stream droppings and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. We made a good dent in the technologies as well. Someone says this only works if you're smelting though, right? Uh, no, it should work on anything. You would specify like, um, let's say one of the branches of your bus is taking iron plate. Then instead of saying iron ore, you would specify iron plate. And so it seems to me, at least my, my current understanding of this, this uh, belt movement checker is that you have to set it to the actual thing that's being moved, otherwise it doesn't reset the signal down to zero. So whatever the number you set the pulse delay thing to, you're, you're essentially saying, I want you to check to see if there's been movement in the last X number of ticks. In this case, we used 60, which is one game second. So if, if the belt's been moving in the last second, lock the line. Because all of it should just be filtering down into that, that other spot. And once the belt or the bus is not using it anymore, then uh, you're allowed to go down. The other line. Why do we have all these radars? I'm down here. What's up? I just wanted to build a bunch of them, as far as I can tell. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. I'm not I connected. Think somebody's removed some of them. Either that or he's not finished yet. <laughs> Why is everyone a little overweight in this game? Yeah, it does kind of feel like we got a little bit of a belly when you're running around. Character does a little waddle. Padding on the suit, I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Big bones. Looks like the server password may have uh, made its way out there a little bit. We're up to 72 now. And and I think quite stable. I mean, aside from you guys getting kicked every now and then. Mm. Yeah, it's running really well. It's nothing personal, you know. Really well. I just like I just enjoy kicking you occasionally. It's fun. I'm totally doing it intentionally, by the way. <laughs> It seems like every... Oh, 
Every time toward the end of these streams, we end up, um... Just fixating on combinators at some point. <laughs> and wires. So the only drawback to this that I can see is that, um... It, uh, if there's any pulse checks at all, it completely locks the belt, even if it's not full throughput. Hmm. Versus this other one... ...that is only locking the belt sometimes and it's letting everything else through. But it's also kind of stutter stuttering a little bit here. Where are you? Let me take a look. Be somewhere up near the top of smelting, I think. Oh, you know why? I know why. This is this is not built right. That's the issue. It's not working because it's not built right. <laughs> I need copper. Hmm. There's no. Yeah, um, I'm near the. Uh, you see, there's the one reversed iron belt next to the steel. At the top of that is yeah. where we were standing and mucking about with that stuff. It seems to be working quite well. I'm looking at it now, and it looks like it's working perfectly. Yeah, it does. It it does its job perfect. It checks if the belt is full. If the belt is completely full and not moving. Yeah. Then it. Uh, well, actually, not See, even. No it, need. No need for a circuit network condition then. Actually, that's not quite true. Only if no iron is entering it. So in theory. Um, If no iron enters it at all, the thing would continuously count and keep the signal open. But if no iron is entering, then... Uh, That's an input issue. It just doesn't matter. Yeah. But you this can't really prioritize nothing. Like This this top one's the one that's just not quite built right. I'm going to rebuild it. Needs to be one further down. I think. I could be wrong, but... I don't know. So I got an email from the guys we were hosting from. It seems they're under attack. <laughs> <laughs> they think they are. <laughs> no, no, it's not from us. Oh, they've been they've been under attack for like a few, for almost a day, I think. And a lot of their services were having problems. They didn't tell you that when you rented the server, though, did they? Yeah. Yeah, they didn't. <laughs> God, damn. Gee. Yeah, now I'm looking at their social media and people are complaining that what's going on. Free servers are down. My servers are down. What are you guys doing? <laughs> so it's not the Factorio's fault. Great. Yeah, that is a good sign. <laughs> someone, someone else's fault. So that <clears> means <throat> that we could totally have more players. we got to come back in two days. <laughs> yeah. After we get some more yeah, optimizations, right? So I, I changed this one here at the top using your design, Clonin. Um, but what I like, you gotta, you basically need one splitter to pull off of the line, and then you need another splitter immediately that's basically connected to nothing just to do your belt movement check. Yeah. Yeah. And this it, one, the the combinator one, is much more succinct. You know, it's just neater looking as well. Yeah. If you if you are aligned it horizontally instead, you could make it more in line. Mm. Um, like you could even fit it between like two underground belts. Yeah, that? it's only a, it's a one by three entity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Like once again, the community shows that they just know so much more. Now, also in theory, um, let's say we did want to use this this combinator belt throughput checker. If you were to do four of these priority splitter like lane shufflers, you could just reuse the same constant combinator for all four checks, couldn't you? As long as you didn't cross the wires back to anywhere else, that same combinator should be allowed to increment T on each of the, the, the deciders. 
Right? I don't think I'm crazy. I might be. Not sure. Let's experiment! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'll just let, uh, I'll just let, um... The guy who built it, Yarp. He'll, he'll know the answer. He knows what he's doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, should. If if the constant combinator, the the only thing it's doing is outputting a, a signal, then yep. yeah, you could just run a signal along the power pole. Keep just every tick send the signal to all the different constant combinators. I mean the um, decider combinators. Yeah. So the setup would require four deciders because you'd have four lanes, one branching off, and then the other three splitting down one lane uh, if necessary. And a decider yeah. is uh, it's five electronic circuits and just five cable, which is cheaper than a splitter so they're very cheap how how are how, how does the game perform if you have just tons and tons of combinators everywhere do they actually affect performance much yeah but in 015 it's you know we wrote about in friday facts twins and did some incredible performance optimizations but that's like so, four months away what are we gonna do till then well just use them in in moderation till then it shouldn't be too much of a drain okay I love how many different variations on these checks we've seen. People are really going crazy with it these days. Do you guys have the uh, the official number? Um, what would we actually what did we end up with for today? Like, what's going to go in the uh, the record book for tonight? Three hundred seventy-five, I believe. Wow. All right, cool. Three hundred seventy-five active and, we were able and online players. Yes, and we were able to play smoothly. Until the server left, let us down. <laughs> yeah. And from what I heard, I'm starting to think maybe the only reason it did that is because they're having issues of their own, not because of what we did. Yes, exactly. Which is actually anecdotally kind of proven by the fact that, uh, yes, we have fewer players than we did a minute ago, but even my computer can handle 70, exactly. 80 people just fine. So if their yeah. server just sort of just turned off, then... It was just that they... Seem to be getting attacked and their network is down. It server when, is fine, but the when network. When did their is, attack? They call it start. Like, was it 9 p.m. They British don't give Standard any time? details, but now I'm just looking at their Facebook page and people were complaining about it since 12 hours ago. <laughs> ah, Clonin, why did you wire up all these little inserters to some lights? What's, why'd you do this? <laughs> hey, it looks nice. It flashes. <laughs> when it's night, it gives them a little nice display. <laughs> Just whenever the inserter moves. Uh, you even yeah. specifically said when when belt equals one, why not just say like uh, when anything equals one? Yeah, I, I figured that out for. Uh, I, I did another bit down by the science. Or figured out that I didn't have to specifically do the belts or the gears and whatnot. Use colors. <laughs> Using colors would work unless we do a um, another combinator for them. I have uh, some iron iron era here, so do you need steel or iron to the main bus? Oh, I think we're... I don't know. I, I don't know. Seems like we need copper. We got 7,700 uh, iron and only... There is some big mix-up on our copper belt. I don't think anyone's paid any attention to the copper belt for a while. <laughs> it's just kind of been messing about with other stuff. Iron Ooh. is almost totally dry as well. Where Ooh, all that's it's a big issue. Oh, we there is ore on our plate belt. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh my god, and coal, no less. Oh, jeez. Wow. What is it like? Is there more processing somewhere, or where am I? S where, where's the? Uh... It's coming, I think, from the smelting area. All this mixed stuff. No, I, I think someone made a, a little derp and, and connected the wrong belt somewhere. Never attribute to malice what can easily be attributed to ignorance or whatever that phrase is. Yeah. It's just a mistake, that. probably. Let's let's assume it's not uh, griefing. We all make mistakes in Factoria. We've all connected the wrong pipe here and... Ruined really all your petroleum? Yeah. Refineries, yeah. <laughs> There's a, some, a certain little sense of calmness that having a path to walk on brings, like... Ha! Ah, I'll just follow this path, yes. That's very good. Bringing order to the chaos. Hello. 
This is my small private spot. Coverex? <laughs> This is my private spot. No, it's not. Everyone invade him. <laughs> take it. Take all of his iron. <laughs> this, this, this guy. This Someone guy over here. He's got iron. <laughs> Someone in chat wanted a uh, a group picture. They mentioned Aww. earlier. Maybe it's a good opportunity for that while we're chasing around. Uh, yeah. Who are we chasing? Kovarex yes, was over here. Let's Kovarex. take a picture okay, with Kovarex. Let's chase Kovarex. Where is all right. Kovarex? Well, actually, <laughs> I think it's a great idea. It's uh, it's already after. 10 o'clock Eastern. I've got to wrap up the stream here pretty quick, so... Um, oh, I see cover. Right. By all means, all if... On the east side over here. If you guys want to continue to play, um, maybe if that server is available, um, rehost the game and let people keep playing. I don't see any reason to, like, you know, hide the save. But, um... I mean, all of us, we've been playing for six hours now, so... That's yeah, a, I'm afraid yeah. the server will need some someone kind of watching over it, and I'll definitely be going to sleep as soon as possible. <laughs> what are you talking about? Six <laughs> hours is a good start. I mean, you're just getting there. You're just getting started. All right. So yeah, if anyone uh, in the game would like to uh, to be part of a, a group picture here, I guess we're going to be taking a screenshot. We are at. Uh, it would be great if I could put like a train station down just to create a stop, and we could. Yeah, we do have train stations. Cool. I will create a map indicator. Somewhere in the southeast. Yes. Where all the people are gathering. Yeah, head towards people. Yes, we'll create Before some... the blob of people. We'll create some merry-go-rounds. Crap, I don't have no stone and I... Oh, okay, there's a piece of belt. Thank you. Or a piece of... Paul Munro, you are now famous. <laughs> Alright, Oh yeah, say. maybe you should go to the, the Factorio sign. Too bad. Someone renamed the uh, train stop to group picture. If you press uh, your minimap key and come check it hey. out. Hey! Grenades are not nice. Gather here, group picture. Yeah. Oh, everyone's coming. Oh. Hey! <laughs> I just. Roundabout. <laughs> Oh, uh, there's something entertaining about just seeing people playing on little... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's the grenades. Okay, I think another 10 seconds, then, uh, yeah, applications closed for group picture participants. Can't we should, uh... Slow pokes. We need a, uh, a server setting option to disable grenades in multiplayer. <laughs> Just remove them. No. <sighs> well, that can be done pretty easily. But, you know, a lot of the time, if you have a troll, he's gonna find a way to troll anyway. Yeah. Grenades he's are just one tool. A boiler. <laughs> yeah. Because then we'll be disabling grenades, rockets, flamethrowers, deconstruction planners, you know, steel axes, people won't be able to mine anything. So. We'll just get out of hand quite quick. Just disable the whole game. <laughs> That's the best way to make it stable. And friends with the biters. You hit better. <laughs> right. Alright, people are getting a little bit restless. Alright, so what are we doing here? Are you guys good? Yep. All good. Screenshots for, for prosperity. Everyone smile. Alright, on the count of three, everyone throw your grenades! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. One, two, three, do it! <laughs> If you have them, throw them! I have none. I'm going to make some if I can before I get murdered. I have five. I can make five. Unfortunately, since your stream is uh, behind by a few seconds... There they go! Oh, oh, we go. Oh, oh. Yeah! <laughs> Shadow GX. Good job, man. And now we know who the troll was. <laughs> hey, there's a new record. Most number of, ki <laughs> Most number of players killed by a single uh, grenade. <laughs> yeah. Alright, cool. Well, thanks for uh, having me, and thanks for joining me, guys. Um, do you have any yeah, plans? Yeah, collaboration is pretty great. Any plans for later on this week, or, like, what are your thoughts on the server? You said you got a whole a whole month? Should I, should I expect well, we'll to... see... We'll see what they do if they fix it. Because, okay. Because, well, if the server is going to be the way it was before, 
right now it wasn't it's not gonna be very useful so we'll see about that okay probably well, just we can either continue to save or yeah do the thing which you proposed where you start to save and just launch a rocket eventually yeah I i'm thinking yeah, uh so. go ahead uh, as we make more like optimizations uh, and update the game more, then we'll probably try again for another record at some point. Yes. Okay. Well, um, unless I hear otherwise, then I'm I'm probably going to plan on either hosting a game myself Thursday night, just to you know do like a 50-player game or something that we could do as the persistent save. I want to have my own local save. This one's great. Don't get me wrong, the factory's good, but um, yeah. I want to start fresh with uh, something that we we keep going with. Um, but yeah, by all means, if we can get that server working, I wouldn't mind having you guys host it, or maybe I'll just wait till I get my good internet. I don't know. I can't tell which one's gonna be better. I don't like the, the couple disconnects I had, but... Yeah, I mean, it is quite important for you to not be disconnected from your own server, I guess. Yeah, I can see why that's a big deal. We'll see how it goes. Okay. All right. Well, once again, thank you to uh, to all you guys in, in chat with me. We've got um, Twinson, we've got Kovarax, Clonin, and Catherine of Sky. Thanks for joining me. And uh, now, did I hear correctly earlier, Catherine? You are a Twitch YouTube person as well, or? Uh, yeah, YouTube. I okay. Record. Okay. Well, uh, feel free to check her out. Do you want to leave a link in the description or a link in the uh, the chat on my stream? Feel free to. Thank you and very much. Uh, I will uh, be back on another stream on Thursday night. Then, until then. Uh, Take care, and I look forward to seeing you guys as uh, hosts and everything on the Factorio subreddit or forums or wherever you guys end up talking. It's got a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay, Thank you very hello. much. Bye-bye. Good night. All right, good night, guys. Have a great night. All right, everyone. I apologize for uh, having to wrap the stream up. I know it's been a lot of fun, and I wish we could have had more players, but uh, I'm going to have to wrap it up here. Definitely look for some feedback. Feel free to head over to the subreddit and tell me what your thoughts are on how things went. And uh, I will, uh, like I said, I'll see you guys again on Thursday night. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you soon. Update was getting slow. So, so the server the server itself was starting to, to lower the UPS then, or? Not the server, but well, the everyone. Yeah, no one could keep up. <laughs> Oh, okay. So maybe we should keep this in mind and try to make less bells that are faster and, you know, things did, like that. Did you get up to the point of having uh, robots mm -hmm. and, and blue belt and everything? I assume you did. No, we just got to trains and we are trying to manage that, but it was not almost impossible. Okay, so no rocket launch. Trains, trains full <laughs> of people rocket. running around. So you have a challenge now. We need to do a rocket launch in two hours. <laughs> two hours. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what's crazy no though much. is that uh, people have actually done that. Mm -hmm. There's like one one specific group or, or team yeah, of guys. I'm, they yeah, do the same save. Elite. He's amazing. Yeah, I know he, he does it on the same map every time, so he knows exactly where to go. But at the same time, it's it's just remarkable. So yeah, I played with the anti elite in the production challenge, and it was really, really interesting. Yeah. He was doing everything five times faster than I could. Okay, so. uh, I see a Factoria MMO with 0 out of 500. That's not us, is it? No. <laughs> That's no. just someone trying to convince us to join? Okay. Yeah, well, chat it's is it's eager. So, yeah. I will press enter and open the floodgates and see what happens. Alright, so for anyone who's trying to join, they've not done this yet before, I uh, just want to reiterate that we're playing on pure vanilla. It uh, doesn't matter if you're using the Steam release or a portable executable, it doesn't make any difference, but you do need to be on the ex the most recent experimental, which is not .14.8, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And, uh, yep, we're using pure vanilla to try to make the game as stable as we possibly can. Uh, what am I looking for, by the way? <laughs> I don't even know what I... What's the name of the game? It called Arumba's Massive Multiplayer. Okay, I keep sorting by players and I'm not seeing it yet. What's the, uh... I'll just I'll just search for a Roomba. How about we do that? There it is. Yep. There is no player limit apparently right now. So let's see what happens. 
So again, I, I've got a little bit of an advantage here because I was able to talk to you guys earlier today. Uh, you mentioned that there's been some changes to the way that you are sending the save file to, to players now when they join. Oh my god, the trees. Yeah, so... <laughs> what um, happened to this forest? It's too many, too many people trying to join too quickly, then it'll put them in a little bit of a queue. So, like, a bunch of people get the same map at the same time, rather than saving the game every other tick for different years. Oh my god, the floodgates are crazy! Oh. <laughs> Alright, so the command, I gotta get this thing, it's uh, slash POC, I think, right? Players online count. Mm -hmm. Let's see if that works already. Wow. 206 in like, what, one minute? <laughs> Let's see, slash time. <laughs> one minute, 34 seconds, we're at 206 players, everyone. Wow. <laughs> well, now, the server explodes. So uh, this is another change in the top left corner. You've uh, you've also restricted this this uh, interface so that it doesn't take up the whole screen, and uh, it kind of just sits yep. up there. It's never going to go away. It'll always be there. Hey, look, we found coal. <laughs> All right. I hope we have some of the players who uh, did that main bus design earlier earlier on because uh, that was pretty solid. Right from the get go, we had a fantastic looking bus built. Alright, here's Kovarex and, uh, oh, I'm just gonna follow Kovarex around, see what he does, see how much work he put in. <laughs> if everyone puts down their mining drill, we'll have <laughs> enough iron just from that alone. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, another batch of players. Alright, so 283 players now, and, uh, I mentioned it before starting the stream or before making the phone call here that, uh, we, at least I, am estimating that the, the server may perform better now than it did earlier because we've got a lot of players from the East Coast now who are connecting, right? Yeah, exactly. Yes. So hopefully if most of the players connecting are East Coast only, we should see the game perform better than with a whole bunch of people on both sides of the ocean. Yeah. That's the, the plan anyway. And also since we're starting again, the map is still quite small, so we don't have to, like, the map upload side isn't, isn't so big. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if we're going to break a record, it's going to be now. As the map will get bigger, I will start limiting the number of players until it's playable. Right. So, now is your time to join. Yeah, if you want to make it, uh, you, you need to get in now, because uh, the thing is, I th <coughs> think um, once you've been a player connected to the map, does it still check against the player count? Or does it always let you back in? I can't remember if you uh, told me... If you me... get disconnected and you click reconnect, then... I think it should ignore the player limit. Okay. I'm not sure if it will. So. Now, if anyone is getting any performance issues whatsoever right now, um, just be aware that the biggest... It's from my experience, again, if I'm ever wrong, guys, just correct me on this, but from my experience, it's been almost all of the lag that we see like in a factory this size is just based on the connections that are being made, and as soon as you guys put a player cap on it and restrict people from joining, the game just smooths right out. At least, it, when it's a small factory. No performance is issues at all. Everyone's talking, I love it. This is going to be massive. Yes, we have two hours, everyone. <laughs> Get to work! Everyone, uh, actually there is, we, we had some fun earlier, we did a biter base rush. We attacked with our pickaxes and stuff, which I wouldn't recommend, it doesn't work very well. But, uh, yeah. it did, it did it succeed. <laughs> But, uh, you know, craft a few, if, if everyone could craft, like, one or two green science packs in their inventory right now, and then just take them towards the science area, we can knock out quite a bit of the good good stuff early on that we're going to need. Um, and then beyond that, yeah, I mean, people are already doing ghost images for a bus, which I love, I love when I see that, it's so cool. I, and, and, of course, we have the big iron crunch here in the beginning. Just find an iron spot, throw your stuff down. Some... Uh, for me guys, the the plan, I actually plan on doing this at least once a week, if not uh, twice a week for the next couple months. Um, just hosting a, a game, and, and what I'd like to do is actually do a persistent save. It doesn't necessarily need to be on your server, but I would, I would love to do that if, uh, if at all possible. But also, I mentioned earlier this afternoon that I, I just found out I'm getting 1000 uh, megabit per second internet in three days, so... <laughs> mm. My computer will probably be able to handle it. <laughs> yep. But yeah. Well, if you can handle it, then... Yeah, there's no limit to what you can do. And especially if we keep making optimizations and increasing the efficiency of the code and, and trying to that is my you know, favorite. design it in a way that will let you have more and more players, then 
Yeah. Should be yeah. Really good. I, I love how you guys are so iterative in your design uh, methodology. You know, you're always trying to make the game better, which is exactly like Factorio. It's, it must be great to work for a game, or work on a game, that is like literally the same thing as the game itself. Like, <laughs> just make yeah. it a little bit better. Just, just, I just need to work on one more thing and then I can go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's that one more turn syndrome. Oh, that's the first time I saw the server not responding. So, looks like we might be getting up there. How many do we have now? 355 online. And there's a big difference between slash POC and just slash PC. Right? Player count is the total number of unique players who have connected to the game at any point in the save files yep. history. POC is the actual online count. Yes. Alright, one other thing I want to mention is uh, I just want to make sure... The, the factory that I saw built earlier this afternoon, we had... It had to have been like 20 different rows of factory uh, of furnaces. And just from my perspective, remember these these 12 furnace layouts are designed for a single full yellow belt. So if you're going to do 20 furnace layouts, the actual feed of ore, you need at least 20 belts of ore. And we only went with like, I think it was like 4, 4, and 4. We had coal, iron, and copper. And that's it's yeah. not going to be enough. We need We need to have like 20 belts of iron ore planned if we're going to go that big right away. Okay. This right. problem that we had in the last factory was basically everybody wanted to build um, everything. So we had like five different science areas um, that were kind of spaghetti-like and not really coordinated. So I'm hoping that this run through will get more progress made because we seem to have stalled kind of after oil and uh, would be nice to see some, some cool progress going on. Yeah. One thing I love is um, watching the, again, the iterative process. The very first one we did, we, we, did quite a bit in a couple hours, but watching the difference between how this massive number of players without any real prior direction performed in the first stream versus say the second and then the third, it's like this evolving mass consciousness <laughs> that's getting better. <laughs> um, so yeah, if, if we could, intelligence. definitely, absolutely. So if, if we could, I would just like to maybe make a, a statement here to hope to guide the consciousness. Um, like. We, we've already got some people who seem to have this natural tendency to work on power, right? Power just seems to happen now, automatically, which is great. Um, we need to have people who focus on, like, I want to just make sure the factory has iron. And I want to make sure the factory just has copper. And, like, you know, that can be your job for two hours if you really want to. It'd be amazing, but you don't have to. It's just, like, we never can have enough, I guess is my whole point. Just because you finished one little iron mine doesn't mean we're going to have enough iron now, because it's not the same thing as a uh, solo factorio. Yeah. yeah if everyone just Marshall. Oops, does okay. their little part, then the whole thing just comes together. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Yes, so uh, Marshall among us, they can go and fight biters and maybe set up some turret production and ammo production as well. Yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, that's funny. That uh, that reminds me actually, like of of the Amass campaign that I did. Uh, you guys are familiar with uh, oh, yes. that name? Okay. I always I, I I usually assume you've heard of it, but I don't want to be too presumptuous. So I thought I'd give you the opportunity to say no. What's that? Never heard of it. <laughs> but um, it reminds me of that because like uh, Shen and Avak both seem to really like going after biters, and I hate it. Stejo and I are both like base dwellers. And there's certain players who, they love the combat element, and they just like to go off and, you know, kill biters. So, we need some of those, and we need some engineers, we need some circuit network guys, we need, uh, people who like trains, you know, we need a little bit of everything. Yeah, all the different types of players. It just makes sense. Okay, I, I'm seeing 374 players online. Uh, did we ever get, like, a hard number for the actual online count from the second stream? What is the goal tonight? Oh, I guess 400. I was hoping to break the record right now because now the map is getting bigger and I will start limiting the... Yeah. Oh my gosh, we have already explored so far. Yeah. Perhaps we should have made a small starting area with maximum biters just to slow down the uh, <laughs> exploration. Now, do you think having maximum biters, though, would have affected performance? Do you think the biters themselves cause much lag? really depends because the problem now is that the map's getting really big and so the map transfer time is increasing quite fast new chunks being generated all the time and so in that way it's, it's not very good 
Mm -hmm. Now, did the did the server crash for you at all earlier this afternoon? Or, like, we're seeing the server is not responding on occasion now. Is it actually going to fully shut down or just kind of stutter and stall a bit? Well, now it's starting to stutter a bit. How yeah. many are we now? Uh, we've got, as far as I can tell, 383. Somebody keeps on shooting me, which is uh, not very polite. Also, yeah, we're getting, you may be experiencing this little, like, rubber banding effect, where the server thinks you're in one place and you're not actually there, and it, it kind of, like, bans you, pulls you back to where you just were. Yeah, that's part of when the uh, buffer size of the ticks increases, decreases. Um, it can cause this issue. You just drop some packets, and then the server thinks you're one place, your client thinks you're another place, and so we just have to set, set the client straight, and then from there on, everything should be good. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh my god, the chat log. We're at 368 now. It looks like we've come down in players. I think people are getting disconnected from being un unable to keep up. Yeah. Yes. So... I think we reached the limit. <laughs> So about 385 or 383 was the actual online count that I saw. But um, if you guys are okay with that number, I think that uh, for the sake of in being able to enjoy this experience, maybe it is probably time to close the door. At least for a bit. Yep. Yeah. We'll start closing. Oh my gosh, did it... Uh, okay, no, no, it didn't happen. Well, I thought that maybe it did. No! Now, I had uh, apparently made a, a little bit of a faux pas earlier, because I, I was like, Oh, I, guys, guys, I got a solution for you guys. We should use a uh, peer-to-peer connection. And that, apparently that was how Factorio used to work. But but is there really, like, no method of peer-to-peer -peer that could be used to, to try to help facilitate some of the, the data transfer here? I just feel like there's so many untapped connections available from all the other computers. Well, it is possible to be done. But there are a lot of things that can be done, so we will probably leave it for later. <laughs> I think that optimizing the game will help much now. Oh my gosh, what what settings did you use for map generation? The oil is ridiculous! Yeah, yeah we I... decided to use lots of uh, resources, so that we is... don't expand as much. Oh, okay, okay. Trying to mi minimize the number of discovered chunks. Hmm. That is a lot of oil. I don't think I've ever seen that many oil spots in one area. I noticed, this is curious, the, uh, is different than the previous streams. Instead of doing a, just a full row of furnaces, we've actually got electric poles between every two. Which works fine, but it's completely unnecessary. Um, you can, you can fit it. You can put them right next to each other if you want, but, yeah, it's personal preference. It's just interesting to see that the entire thing was done this way because one person started it this way. Hmm. Just like the one person plants a little seed and just sort of follows its own path. I think people have, a lot of people have a natural proclivity toward orderliness and perhaps symmetry, so they would want all the furnace setups to look similar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would definitely drive the OCD in, in most players nuts if like every other furnace setup was different. <laughs> Hmm. Would not recommend. <laughs> okay, I am seeing the online player count now down to 328, which is still a remarkably high number to see see the game running as well as it is. Hmm. Is the uh, is the player cap set or? I just put a password. Okay. So if you're trying to join, uh, just be aware that we, we are temporarily, most likely, uh, not not allowing others to join for the sake of server stability and you know, getting a few things done here and there. I'm afraid, <laughs> I'm afraid it might not be temporarily. <clears throat> okay. We, I think, yeah, that's, we reached our limit. Now it's probably time to just enjoy the game. Okay, that's fine with me. I've got... Uh, an hour and a half, hour and 35 oh. minutes to build a crazy factory? Yeah. Uh oh. Servers. Get your setups on, build your smelters, build your oil, 
Oh no! Everyone do your thing. The servers... See how far we can get. Yeah. The green bar is almost at the end. No! Communication with the server failed. <gasps> no. no. Okay. Uh, I need to go look up the password because. Uh... Okay, there it is. Okay. It's not going to show it, right? It's asterisk. I hope. Yes. We can play. It works for me. Fine. Oh, user with your name is already in the game. <laughs> yeah, just uh, try a few times. Yeah. Okay. Just wait a little while. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, somebody inserters backwards, and there is wood on the iron line. Wait. Oh, that reminds me. It's stone on the iron line. Uh, I think. Now, I hope that that uh, isn't a new thing <laughs> that people are doing. I think what they're doing is they're uh, they instead of using the you know the JG Games thing with the splitter, they're you know and having the uh, ore and coal going around the outsides of the furnace setup, they're putting it down the center. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's oh okay, I'm getting a little confused basically. I've done that before. I've tried that. I mean that one works. It's just that uh, if you think about it. You're ending up spending an extra, usually a long-handed inserter on every furnace, where a regular yellow inserter can handle feeding ore and fuel. Like, you don't need to use two inserters. So to me, it just yeah. seems like a waste of resources to use two, but... Especially in the early game when your your supply of iron and copper is quite low. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what if we plan for red belts from the start? That we don't do 12 furnaces in a row, but 24. Uh, That's could a good idea. could be done. Um, usually, at least for me, and again, this is just personal preference, but I usually never go past the twelve. I would rather have two twelve setups and feed them yeah, both but to a single point, and then upgrade to red there. We we also want to go for the CPU friendly game, which means less belts that are faster. Okay. Because the game will get very very laggy in like hour. So if you use red bells and bigger smelting setups, it might be better. That's a good argument. All right, well let's do it. In that case, if we're gonna do, yeah. if we're gonna go for fewer belts, then we shouldn't be using this smelting layout. We should be doing the layout where the furnaces are directly adjacent to each other. It's not much, but it's like an extra what eight, ten sections of belt on every furnace setup. We just need to make them a little bit longer, but we're going to run into the ore patches above um, the main bus area at the moment. I, I would argue that if um, if resources are set to high and things are in the way, just ignore them. Like, we don't need all that stone. You know, it's just... Well, who cares? It's just stone. It's not like it's a big iron patch. So everyone who is building the furnace area, please just ignore the ore patches and build over them so we can have uh, 24... Is it 24 we're doing? 24 furnaces in a line, vertical line, on each of these smelting area. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, just start building one with them adjacent and see if maybe we can morph this thing into a... a good one. The other thing I usually like to do these days is I like to have the output on one area, like in the center of it. I used to, for a while, I used to do the output of uh, furnaces to the outside, and then I would, you know, do the little wiggle waggle to balance the lane. But then I realized you end up using more belt that way overall. Usually just do output toward the center. That's one, two, three, four, five. In fact, we six. can cut down some of these, the double lanes of belts here into a single line, uh, and that'll save us a whole line of belt, basically, on each smelting area. And the great thing about ghost images is that you can actually place most of them without even worry about people being in the way. Right, awesome. Mm. Because people usually somebody's are in the way. <laughs> There's almost always somebody <laughs> standing in where you want to be. <laughs> I think it's because they, they can't see what you're trying to place, so they don't know they're supposed to move or... Yeah. You know? I, I don't even have a single piece of belt to, to use for ghost images right now. There we go. Uh, Alright, it's, uh, it's, it's Exy. Who, he, he, there's the man. He's the man. He knows what he's doing. He, he's making it happen. E X X E. Good job. And then the way you do these power lines, you only need three sections, uh, three three power lines per area. And actually, you can make it cheaper if you. How quickly could you think we could get uh, medium electric poles? We could use far fewer entities that way. Does the actual entity count? How, how does that affect performance? The electric poles, they they don't 
there. You don't care, you don't care about the electric poles. They are not updated. Okay, so only only things that are get updated uh, matter. Okay. So it's inserters that are, that are doing something. Bells, active bells. Okay. Biters. So inserters that are just sitting don't matter. So what about like say yellow inserters versus blue inserters? Do we care about you know trying to use fewer it's, inserters and just use the blue it's ones? It's almost the same. It's almost the same. Okay. I mean, blue inserters, they, they are faster, so maybe it might be a little bit better, but I don't think that it's measurable. Okay. So we're down to 251. We're actually already seeing some people lose their connection, probably due to uh, the fact that the factory's growing so quick. I mean, let's check our production right now. We've got uh, about 4,000 iron a minute already in 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> 4,000 iron a minute. It's going well. Nice. That is remarkable. Right. All right, Everybody's so. working together. I love co-op games because of that. But we're not all trying to shoot each other. At least not yet. Want to get banned. <laughs> <laughs> now, how did you guys handle moderation earlier today? Were you uh, pretty, pretty strict with uh, banning? Or was it more of a not necessary mm -hmm. type thing? I didn't really pay much attention to it, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I don't think there were a lot of people griefing. It was really cool. Everybody was working together for the most part, anyway. <laughs> okay, I need to find some some wood <laughs> so I can make some darn electric poles. <laughs> Good uh, luck with that. <laughs> yeah, that, or if we could uh, get that medium electric pole research so we don't have to worry about deforestation. That'd be great. All right. This is just like growing massively. It's so cool. Okay. So I think we're going to take off the password in a minute and set instead a player limit. So it's a bit more fair to people trying to join, but hopefully it will still be low enough that the game will be playable. So uh, around the office, uh, do you guys have like a, a multiplayer daily, like m once a week? Do you guys get together and play Factorio, or do you, uh, you know, do you not really bring your ho your work home with you, or how do you guys handle spare time? Well, it's kind of hard these days. Because we, we, I, I basically wanted to have the multiplayer finished. And now instead of it being finished, we just want to improve and improve. And now it's 2 a.m. in the morning and we are still playing. So you can guess. <laughs> you don't get to sleep ever. <laughs> That's the new. <laughs> yeah, never, ever. But before a major update, say like before we release 0.13, we, um, we did something like two weeks of playtesting. Like we come to the office, we, we play test, find some bugs, fix them. And then sometimes we go home and, and just continue playtesting. You know, we get invested in the maps. We wanna, we just like get addicted to Factorio in the way that all the other players get addicted to it. Oh yeah. I understand completely how that feels. I, uh, I, I swear, I, I often will wake up with that Tetris effect. Where I'll, mm. I, I, it's like transport belts are moving in my brain overnight, <laughs> and you wake up just thinking, oh, why won't it stop? I was trying to sleep, and all I could think about was layouts and things moving. <laughs> yeah, things like splitter ratios and, and different second epic stuff it just gets stuck in your brain. Yeah, mm. although it is really nice when you come up with a solution that actually works, and then you go back into the game and you test it, and you're like, yes, it really works. <laughs> it, it's a good idea. I think those are the, the sort of special moments we, we aim for. Alright, so we need to get some fuel Say. over here. The joy of all this rainbow of people running around just excitedly, is it makes it worth it for you guys. I was trying to make this smelting setup my way, and <laughs> I, can't, I just can't win. <laughs> so yeah. I will just take some iron and make a new place. New, I will start a new Wait, 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 that, that's what happened it's earlier, though. That was bad, I thought. Because people had, like, six sign setups, right? You gotta conform. Well, the know. hive mind is right. <laughs> uh, this reminds me, um, like, it was, like, a two two or three weeks ago, I saw there was a... some swarm intelligence post on Reddit where uh, they would, like, vote on, like, which you know, sports team they thought was gonna win, and it was, like, a, it was a swarm mentality-type uh, AI. 
and it was all human driven, right? But it was just a swarm of humans, and they would all kind of like pull their mouse, and depending on how many were pulling in one direction, it would kind of whatever it would force it, you know, in a certain direction. They would use that swarm intelligence to make decisions. You just need to be more persuasive if you want to build your setup the way you want it. <laughs> Get more people on your side. And the swarm, like, look at this. Like, I, I helped design one of these things, the 24 furnaces, and now look, there's like 15 of them now. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. I'm looking on the overview map, and it looks like all of our soldiers are wearing red, and they're going up and killing the biters. It's, like, cool. Ah, oh, we it's should set color teams. Oh, that's a great army. idea! <laughs> uh, so color- okay, how do you change your color easily without- uh, it's not a console command that actually affects achievements, right? You can do that anyway? Yeah, it be forward slash color, and then the, the color you want to choose. So if you want to see them, you, I'm going to type it. You do forward slash color help. I think like that, and it will show you all the available colors. Okay. Uh, I said so, un okay. unknown color no, it, help. It, it, it's not like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's assign some colors. Red for attacking, blue for iron. What else? Um, well, yellow like for copper, green for observer lazy man. Is that? No. <laughs> <laughs> green for tree chopping. Help color. Okay, so type Let's forward slash for help science. color. I see everyone is becoming a soldier now. <laughs> red shirts die, so we don't have to. I love it. Definitely red for... Uh... <laughs> so I want to be color... I guess I'm going to choose green. I don't know what green means, but I'm green now. I love green. Green's a good color. And of course, if you really wanted to, could you do uh, could you do the more specific coloration com command as well? Or is it just uh, the generics? No, the command's disabled. Okay. So just generic color changes only. Yeah, By the way, don't write colors. any commands. We have commands enabled for emergencies, but don't use it if it's no emergency, so we have achievements. For admins only, I, I assume. Yes, yeah, I would admin. assume, otherwise uh, that would go away very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Alright, someone's... Oh, we have an army of red mining at one... Okay, <laughs> at one uh... <laughs> The uh, the smelting area, the twelve, the, the twenty four furnace setup. Anyone that's helping out with this right now, uh, there's there's some craziness going on with electric poles. If you could please look at the one to the bottom right, as a template, you you, you need to. Here, I'm I'm standing here. I'm in green. You just need to go like one, two, and then a third on the other side, and you go up a little bit. And you go one, two, three, and then after you've done two of those, you skip a section and then go up. Again, like this, and then there's there's a spot where the the electric poles are not covering anything, but they don't need to cover anything because there's no inserters there. So if we just try to get them all right and pretty, the, the wires going everywhere is it's, it's, it's triggering me a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, the spider webs. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's like a hammock. You could take a nap up there. <laughs> but once we get the uh, the layout right. Uh, I think people will get it. And then just carry it on down the line. If, if you see any mistakes, feel free to correct them. There we go. All right, cool. Looks like... uh we need quite that many for us set up. Oh my yeah. gosh. Like continuing into the sunset. Yeah, I think uh, we probably have enough for now. We should probably worry about getting some more iron on the belt. <laughs> There's no iron ore to feed this thing. Now, I did some uh, some some math earlier. It seems to me like in vanilla, which is of course what we're playing, uh, a yellow belt can carry, I think it's what, 10? Is it 10 or 11 electric mining jewels per side of the belt? I have no idea on that one. Oh no. You know what? I'm gonna do some math real quick. Jerker not responding, no. Uh, Factorio. Mining. Speed. It's the formula for mining speed. I've recently committed a, some of these numbers to memory, like uh, Yellow Belt can carry 40 thirds items per second, right? Mm. It's 13.333, uh, etc. per second, divided by two for one half of each side of the belt. So if we take... Uh, uh oh, I, I've disconnected from the server while trying to do yep. my math. <laughs> couldn't Something might have happened there. Couldn't establish network connection with the server. I think we broke it. GG. Yeah, I can't connect either. Ooh. GG. Server so seems fine. <laughs> seems fine, except for all the players who can't connect. 
Oh, my console is not responding. We actually did explode the server. <laughs> Alright, someone get on the horn with New York and, and yell at him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it was going so well. Yeah. It's so even 250 players, and it was pretty smooth, in my experience. Okay, so... Any chance the server kept a save, or... What, what's the plan? Yeah, Will yeah. it, uh... Will it reload it, or gotta start and stop I hope it? I, the server is not responding right now to me, so I'm just waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think it's back. It didn't crash; it just got a hiccup. Uh, the password is back on. Yeah, okay. I put the password so you can join. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, unfortunately it's saying that the server already has someone named me on the in the game. <laughs> Still. Oh, yeah, you just have to wait like double. another five seconds. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool. Yeah, someone's created a, an o, an overflow game with a hundred player cap. <laughs> mm. What? Uh, yeah, and once once we're all in, we'll take the password off again. So okay. don't worry, live viewers. Yeah, the reason they were doing that, uh, I, I got to take credit where credits due. Uh, it was my solve earlier. <laughs> uh, we were worried about uh, whether or not like the the devs and I could get into a game right with a password. So we just. Add the password, then take the password back off to guarantee that they can get in. Although I still feel like you guys should maybe make it so that um, anyone who's ever been promoted in the save should just not count against the server player cap. But uh, yes, we tried to implement this, but just a few hours too late. Yeah, you guys are probably working right up until the end there today. Yeah, we actually did the release. The release finished like. I think one hour before the stream, the first stream. Okay, so, so I'm uh, I'll do a little bit of math here. So mining power minus <clears throat> mining hardness. Server's not responding. I can't get the numbers if you don't uh, respond, server. Yep, it's doing the same for me. There is something oh, very weird I'm happening. All right, so we got a mining power of three minus the mining hardness of 0.9. It's 2.1. I think it, we should restart the server. I think. I Maybe. think there's way too many people. Yeah, it's you are DDoSing the server. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah, I I get no connection to my console, so. I I think when the everyone please stop connecting. <laughs> yeah, I think when the game is brand new, it can probably handle more people flooding the gates. But yeah, now that we've already got quite a bit built up. Yes. Yeah. It seems like we can't do a 300 player rush. So make a limit. Yeah, um, yeah well, we did, we did. Here's the thing. I had been planning on... Um, before you guys contacted me about you having your own server to, to host and try to go for this player thing, my, my plan was actually to do a much smaller max. Like, I only wanted to do like 50 or 100. Because what I'm really looking forward... Mm -hmm. looking for the most right now, for me personally at least, is just a very good still massive but not quite as massive multiplayer experience that's stable and and can just be yes. good you know whether I, that's 50 or 100 i i don't know but what number do you think we could sustain up into up until like a two hour size factory well depending on you know the the, the hardware of all the people playing then 50 players with the right optimizations should be able to run a decent sized factory. Vincent, you loaded the wrong safe. What? Is the game working? Yeah, but is the safe from before? What? Is this teacher game oh safe? My. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this isn't looking good. <laughs> I don't know, I'm I'm out of the server. I cannot connect. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I have, I have no control over what's happening. <laughs> Did the server just randomly load up another save? It's gone rogue. <laughs> yeah, the server's gone rogue. It's tired of our <laughs> BS, man. It's, what is, it's getting upset with us. Um, I hope the players have some understanding because this is really some extreme tests, and we kind of experienced expected these kind of problems to happen. So. Yes. yes. I think they understand. I mean, Factorio is still an alpha, and I think everybody's just excited to be part of the whole process of moving forward. Um, 
because I've heard so much from from the community on the forums and such where people are just like, this is the game to buy. You know, all these other companies have uh, not delivered on early access and you guys continue to improve the game. So I don't think they mind too much right <laughs> now. <laughs> just waiting. Okay, but we, we should learn from the mistakes anyway. Of course, of course. So I I agree with Saruma that we should make a 50 or 100 player game and just tr- play that one. And people will make overflow servers so they can play as well. Yeah, I think we've accomplished the goal, which was to test the player cap. And we, we, we can't go any further until you guys have some more fun with optimizations. But uh, how about we just do 50? Why don't we just do 50 players to really guarantee that uh, we don't have any issues any anymore tonight? And... Uh, do we need to start a new factory, or do we still have that safe? I'll, I'll see what's happening. Right now, I think everyone is still flooding the server, so... <laughs> I hate to I hate to make the number so much smaller, because I know there's going to be like literally 100 or 200 people that won't be able to make it, but... Again, um, like you mentioned, it, it, we're, breached, we're, we're breaking new ground right now, um, when it comes to stability and stuff, and I think that you guys are hopefully getting a lot of value out of the testing that's happening here. Have you seen a big influx of bug reports or like server debug connections and stuff on the forums? Earlier today I submitted one. It's my game crashed. Um, not so much, but maybe people are just a bit preoccupied actually watching the stream and not actually taking much time to actually report the bugs. Well, please do if you are part of this process tonight, guys. Um, if your game crashes, it does. there's a pop-up dialogue that says, hey, please submit this tier and here's what you have to do. Um, go do that, <laughs> right? It'll make the game better, so... Yeah, I mean, yeah, so for any crash you have, like, no matter how small, no matter how crazy, then you may be the only person or the first person to experience it, so if you let us know, then we can fix it, but if everyone thinks this, someone else will report it, someone else will fix it, then it might not ever get fixed. Mm-hmm. So, Twins and are we actually going to start the server again? Okay. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'll, yeah, the problem my... is that, yeah, the problem is that we can't even control the server because the server yes. is controlled by network connection. So it's yes, got I, I cannot reach control. the server, I know. This okay. sounds con- unconsciousness now. Well, while we're waiting, I'm going to head over to your uh, website and just walk people through how to report a crash just so that we actually have, you know, there's... 1,300 people watching the stream right now. That's 1,300 more people who will hopefully be able to submit bugs, bug reports if they happen. So, um... We'll have a lot of work tomorrow, probably. On a related note, the team production challenge server should still be running. Oh, okay. Uh, it's Factorio official team challenge. Uh, Did you actually try it, Aruba? Uh, no, I've the actually not production? done... No, I've not done that at all, but I did remember you mentioned earlier about having, like, 25 and 50 player competition games. Is it similar or different than that? It's quite... Yeah, it's something like that. It's it's very, very intense. And I think we could try it sooner or later. Okay. Okay, well, if you're watching the stream right now um, and you've navigated over to the Factorio forums, we want to go to the uh, support section. There's a bug report forum. Go ahead and click bug reports. You can create a new topic. And then uh, for the subject, I, I suppose you could just call it whatever makes sense or just say, hey, debug on this date, whatever. But what's really important, though, is you need to attach a file. In my case earlier today it was two files, but most of the time you're probably just going to have one. There's this little upload attachment button right here, you're going to click that, and you're going to say choose file. Once you've gone here, you're going to go up to your Windows, assuming most people are probably using Windows. Go there, type percent app data, percent, and that's going to take you to your local app data folder. I'm going to go down to Factorio, and then uh, it was under archive, right? Yeah, that's only if you have a desync. Okay, so yeah, if you had a desync, you're going to get an archive folder, and then I have here a 120 megabyte desync report, apparently. That's going to be one of the things you want to upload. If it's not a desync, then it's going to be under... Temp, was it? So, if you have a game crash, what we need is the Factorio log, and the save game, and like, steps, like, what were you you doing, what mods you were using, all of that information. Okay, and the this, the save info is going to be what, this factorio-current? Yeah, the log will be factorio-current.log, and then the save game will be like, the most recent save game you have. Okay. Uh, and hopefully from those steps we can reproduce the problem and see what's going wrong and fix it. Yep, and so my post from earlier today... Oh, that's not the right one. 
look, it ended up looking like this. Um, it's just, you know, from session three multiplayer, I've got a factorio dash current dot log and desync dash report 2016. I see it's already been downloaded eight times, so somebody over there's been busy. Um, <laughs> hopefully they're actually doing something useful with it. <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah. uh, yeah, so that's how you do a bug report. I know it's not the most interesting stream content there, but uh, I think it's valuable to, uh, to the development of the game, so please do that if you uh, have a, an issue. Yeah, it definitely helps us out, like, knowing when and where and for what reasons the game is crashing really helps us, like, fix the issues and get the game really, really stable. Okay, looks like uh, I am connecting to another game. Is it uh, the server back up now, or same server from earlier? Maybe it's responding now. It's a 20 plus megabyte save, so it must be from them earlier. Yeah, yep, I got the server back on. I'm not sure what save it is. I think it's the save we had. Okay. Yeah, that is the save we had. I'm right where I was. Okay, well, I think for, again, for stability and enjoyment tonight, if you, if you don't mind, then that limit pretty low. Ooh, somebody put Factorio in, in stone. So what Yeah, you think? but now I can't join. Can you make a password? Yeah, I'm getting yeah, very low download speed. One second. Yeah, I'm getting about 12 kilobytes. Oh. The good old day speeds. Yeah, someone joined. A bit too many people joined. <laughs> yeah, well, as soon as, uh, of course, as soon as we said, oh, hey, the server's connecting people, everyone jumped in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really hoping that you're able to put some sort of a queuing system in place. I'm, you know, I'm getting flashbacks to World of Warcraft back when the servers would get overloaded and you'd get put into a wait queue. And uh, I hated them at the time, but I could also see how in this setting it'd actually be really good. Rather than have to constantly click join and spam those DDoS type connection attempts. <laughs> you know, just yeah. join the queue and then like, you know, leave it alone. <laughs> Stop poking the server. It's busy. Doing stuff. It could definitely work. Okay, so if we're gonna do these, uh, these twenty-four, s and these are gonna be steel furnaces eventually. Um, if we're gonna do these twenty-four furnace setups, where do we want to put the little wiggle waggle? Normally, you do it uh, eight furnaces, and then the last four you you go underground and then recombine. So I'm assuming we would probably want to do the last eight. Might make sense. If we're upgrading from yellow to red belt. Hmm. Good work. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like right here. Oh my god. I love it. There's no one in the game, it means I get so much iron. <laughs> There's just <laughs> iron everywhere. The belts are full. It's fantastic. Nice. Wow. 3.5 kilo. Oh no. Under so, uh, one kilobyte per second. Just out of curiosity, there's a lot of mods that uh, people have made in the past, and I'm not trying to push mods because somebody earlier had said, "Oh, Aruma's trying to push too many mods into vanilla." But um, like a lot of mods make it so that the higher tiers of underground belt can go further. Why is it that uh, they're all the same distance underground? Ever have you ever thought about making them go further or farther? Farther, I think, is the correct English, but let's not worry about that. Well, it's... That is kind of... it's That is a complicated answer to that, because at the very, very early days of Factorio, the belts, the underground belts, were very inefficient when they got longer. So we just wanted to keep them short. But now it's been optimized, so we could actually make it longer. Wouldn't, we, were uh... thinking, we were thinking about the technology research to make them longer, actually. Okay, I, I could get on board with that. I, I mean, I'm thinking about it more like uh, underground belt. It, it essentially what it, it teleports directly from its start location to its end location. But then, depending on the length, it can hold more stuff in it, right? It's like a kind of like oh, a miniature chest or something. It, it doesn't tele it doesn't teleport. The items are actually simulated in the belt underground because it needs to. But uh, it's more efficient actually. Yeah, uh, I, I've, I've noticed that uh, a lot of really, really big mega base players will end up with, if they have to use belt, they will do uh, large numbers of underground belt, even in straight lines, just because it performs better. 
Yes, uh, part of part of the optimizations we have planned for 015, they basically make it that normal belts actually act this way, and even 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 more. So the belts will be much much faster. So uh, this will be not needed in the next update in the 015. Okay, it's, now you know, it's, it's like half I don't know four months from now. So. Oh wow! Okay, I was gonna say that is the next question that's gonna be on everyone's mind. Then is <laughs> yeah. when is the patch coming out? And uh, four months? Okay. I don't know. It was just a wild estimate. It <laughs> might be less. It might be more. You never know. Okay. So I will. If I learn something, then never, never promise anything ever <laughs> to anyone. It will just eat you alive if you do. That. Yeah. So and you don't deliver in time. But if you want. Usually the most concrete information you can get is from Friday Facts. Oh yeah, so I, I gotta admit, every Friday morning I look forward to reading those, so... <laughs> I'm all about that. So, so yeah, if you want information... Oh, I want to join the game. <laughs> no! It? It's with the we, password. We don't want you in the but, game. No. <laughs> but I can't... I mean, <laughs> the password is not enough. You need to also increase the player limit, because... Okay. Uh. Well, for now he does. But later on, maybe not. Maybe on, maybe later on that won't be necessary. Just by having the password, maybe you could you could join anyway. I don't know. You could you could set all kinds of restrictions. I think there's still too many people in the server for the the player limit. Let's check the player count right now. Yeah, yeah I see Kovarex joining. Yeah. We Half are of at the features uh, we made are not working because we just didn't have the time to test it properly. Yeah, we're at 52 online. So, okay, we'll do this then. You, you've got your password, change the password again, and then raise the player count again, and then you should be able to get in. Yep. Just, just make it something that no one else knows, and... Oh, hey, we have Circuit Network. Yay! Okay, so we have the red belt. Uh, knowing that we're going to end up going to these, this red belt setup for performance, also by having fewer players, though, we should be hopefully better. Let's immediately start upgrading, like, the first one of these things. I feel like we should just take some all of this iron and just have it be turned into red belt right now. <laughs> well, it'll definitely improve the throughput if we do that. Might as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, Yop is an egg. Yeah, I would love to be able to go to uh, electric furnaces right away as well, but I don't think that's going to happen for a while. Okay, so Twinson, what, what, what are the uh, settings looking like right now? Settings, what do you mean? Like, how many max players and if there's a password and stuff. Well, right now we have a password, so... Unfortunately, it's gonna stay there for a while, just for stability issues, because... It's still for the fun of watching the stream and the game, and if we're gonna spend most of the stream restarting the server, unfortunately, it's not gonna be much fun, so... Um, yeah. I will just monitor the things and maybe slowly increase, but we'll be playing with uh, 50 to 100 players. I don't. So we, we we won't get over 100 players. So when will we take off the password? Uh, once people finish catching up. Okay. I think we should basically just repurpose this entire first iron thing into just making red belt, nothing else. Like, we're gonna need infinite of it, so why... <laughs> why let it do anything but make iron? Like, make... Oh, crap, I messed up. Like, a lot of times, at least for me, I, I try to, I try to, like, oh, yeah, I'm eventually gonna want to have all this iron go down the bus. But then you realize, like... You don't really need to do that. You could, you could just send it all, like, hey, all this iron can just go towards one thing. And that's fine. Mm. Um, it does work. Yeah, it's quite useful to have some things having dedicated belts. I know that I do that a lot when I get to end game and I want more stuff for green circuits. I have four iron and four copper going straight into there off of the main bus, you know, aside of that. Yeah. I've recently tried to adopt a, uh, something I had read on, on the, the Factorio subreddit about Basically, like, how do you, you know, people were asking, how do you build a, a good factory that's easily expandable? And the answer that came up was, just build a factory to help you build your factory. Like, don't even really try to make your initial factory 
the end factory. Just just build what it needs to yep. be to make you more stuff so you can make a big one later. Like it's just a much better approach. Looks like the server's yeah, down again. Normally what happens is you in a game you have basically two factories. You have the first factory, which is very spaghetti, you're having things going everywhere, and it's just you're just trying to throw out some science, get some things researched. And then once you've got some stuff going, then you want to try and like organize it a bit better. You can have stuff coming in by trains. You're not limited and influenced by where the initial ore patches are. And then, and then you can build the nicer second factory, which is much nicer, much cleaner. And then you can really get some of the, the high throughput stuff going. Yep. And also, usually around the time you can build that second factory, you've got robots. So it's pretty darn easy to disassemble the initial factory. Yeah. Scrap it. Is, uh, so it seems like the server has uh, had a little hiccup again. Yeah. Yep. Just, uh, just a random thought, just to see if it's something that could be done. Is there any way that you could do like a, a quick little performance test or speed test on a player's computer and like have hardware restrictions for joining a game? It might be excessive, but it'd be interesting if we really wanted to push them, push things to the limit. You know, like enforcing people to have good hardware could happen. Could make it happen. Well, I think if someone has a slow computer, it shouldn't hurt the server. What we are experiencing probably is either the, the provider is not as good as we thought, or we yeah, have some... I think the provider is just not as good as we thought because yeah, I just cannot reach it. Well, we played for over two hours before, and I had almost I had over hundred people just directly connected to me. If you want, just pass the save file to me, and I'll host it. I don't think we would have issues. I mean. I, I don't know. Plus, in three days, I'm going to have a thousand megabit internet. So, yeah, <laughs> we can do this <laughs> next week. I'll host it myself. Who cares? Woo-hoo. I'm going to get, it's, it's not Google Fiber, but it's the same speed. So, I'm like super geeked right now. Well, the reason for renting the server was, was so that it would be like the whole processor dedicated just for the server. So, it would never be the issue that the server is slowing everyone else down. Okay. I see what you mean. And so, I don't know what hardware specs your computer is, but... Um, I could, uh... Like you're going to be streaming, you're going to be having the, the game open and hosting the server, along with Skype and all the other, you know, other software that's running, so... I'm not sure which would actually perform better. Well, I know that well, my computer can... never crashed, so that's the only thing I'm... <laughs> kind of way uh, you know yeah putting, putting it up against <laughs> i've got uh really? everything on my computer is yet. yeah i guess that's a fair point <laughs> everything i have is pretty pretty much top of the line except my processor is uh and actually this might actually be better my processor is uh it's a hex core and uh you know, it's got the 12 12 logical co- or six logical cores and six whatever the other call ghost cores phantom cores and uh it's actually not performed as well as I'd like on some single core games, but it uh, can do a whole lot of stuff simultaneously. I built this rig for editing and encoding and all kinds of stuff that I don't ever do, which is silly. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I just want to play Factorio, so. Yeah, so if you want to go ahead and, and host it yourself, then. We, you can use the latest right? autosave. You should have autosave of this game, and you can just start oh. the multiplayer game. I should. It should actually exist. Yes. Yep. I thought that autosave was disabled automatically on. Uh, oh no, no. no. It's only every ten minutes, so we might go back. Five yeah. To 10 okay. Minutes. Yeah, I see it. But it's fine. Public uh, max players fifty. And if you want to set a password just for the first five minutes or so, so we can all join in. Sure. Um, I'll leave the autosave on then. Allow commands, admins only. Only admins can pause, verify user identity. Max upload, what would you recommend? We don't want to squelch the, the upload. That that was one issue I ran into. Max upload is what, the upload rate per player or per total? Per total. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very clear. Uh, let's see. I don't know anything really, I just... I guess. would set, set that to around 5 megabytes, so 5,000, let's say. Okay. Let's do that. And you said that this ignore when returning button's not actually working? 
Wait, actually, you said you have 100 megabit, right? Yeah, but it's already set. Just set it to... Mm, three? Okay. There's the password in uh, in the call. You guys want to get in first? Ah, oh, look at all this iron! I get so much iron! <laughs> I guess it's a Roomba's game? Yep, I didn't do anything fancy, I apologize. Just search a Roomba. Okay, I'm joining in. Alright. And uh, CG and I had actually found that um, pausing the game, that the whole catching up thing is, is a great feature, but it is also takes a lot longer to catch up than it does if you just pause it. So it's still kind of useful sometimes to pause. We could we could also do that once we get to flavor. I, I did set the 50 player cap. Now you, you set it up earlier so you could do server changes. Uh, in a situation like this, can I change this the player cap locally? Or is that yes. only with the server? Is it a console command? Yeah, you can. It's a console command. Okay, well if we need to, let me know, but I don't think we're going to change it. We'll, re we'll remove the password and we can do that in game. Okay, fair enough. Once we're all in. Do you, um, how, how do you guys play Factoria? Do you have that compel that compulsion to start over and over and over again? Or do you have like a save that has dozens and dozens of hours in it or hundreds? Well, we usually play as long as it's playable, then we go optimize. <laughs> <laughs> so you have multiple multiple saves then over hundreds of hours. I got it. Well, I know I have like, I don't know, hundred saves because, you know, we are doing the bug reports all the time. So I always download a save for someone and fix, fix the thing. And then I look around in the save, what was there. So I have a lot of saves in my directory. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting to see it all. And especially uh, we get the bug reports and they, they send us the mods and we really get to see some of the crazy mods that are out there. It seems that like pretty cool. It seems like the modding portal, okay. the modding portal has really helped with, with getting a lot of mods, some exposure and, and just like, I don't know. I feel like the modding scene has really gotten bigger lately. Yeah. And the modding portal is actually is going to be rewritten again. Really? And there's a, yeah, there's some guy joining us uh, next month and he'll be here for half a year and he will do, be doing just the mod portal so it will be written from scratch and improved a lot so everything's worked on basically so. uh, things are being killed because we don't actually have any uh, red shirts <laughs> we, need to get, yeah. no. we need some people to the front lines quickly <laughs> I it nominate you Clonin go <laughs> I'm good uh, I need a submachine gun and some light armor yeah. at the very least. Okay. All right, so you, everyone in the call is in. Uh, why don't we go ahead? Okay, how do you? What's the console command to remove the password then? You write slash config space password and enter. Just no, nothing after. Okay. Nothing. Can't else. run config. You are not an admin. Oh. <laughs> Someone needs to promote oh. me, I suppose. How does that work? I'm the host, though. Oh, Twinson should be an admin. So the, the admin mm. status is actually saved in the file itself, not to uh, the host at all. Interesting. Yeah, very interesting. You're like promoting me or trying to change the the password? <laughs> yes, there you go. Ooh, lucky. There we go. That worked. And there goes everyone. And you know what? I'm going to just yeah. make a little quick executive decision here, and I'm just going to pause the game for like a minute or two. I feel like that would help. Because if we're having performance issues... I know that the, the they're catching up helps, but I want to get past that point where everyone's trying to join all at once. Yeah. Does that make sense? I mean, if it was a brand new map, I would probably say, hey, let's just let them catch up. But we've already got quite a few enti entities and stuff's going on. This map is kind hey, of... Hey, everyone's saying dropped. No, 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 no. The server's fine. I haven't, I've dropped none frames. 0.1%. Nothing. Seems like you're getting DDoSed a little bit, but it seems, seems to be holding steady. Can you still hear me? Am I sound like a robot yet? I shouldn't be. Uh, you're pretty good. You're good. You limited the speed, so it should be fine. Wow. That's a lot of people. Uh, interesting. Why the game on pause? 
Wasn't me. There's a slight issue with the feature. Yeah, actually, pausing the game wasn't a good idea because then the players accumulate more. <laughs> oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah no. Yeah, the, the server saves once in a while for the players, but when you pause the game, you pause the whole process. Of okay. The players waiting for the map to be saved. I'm sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. I didn't, re I didn't realize that. I it's okay. We're all still learning. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna get kicked. <laughs> I got kicked. Yep. Is it because my computer can't handle it? I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> it's an apologize game. <laughs> apologize you. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Take it off the server list or something. Uh, that was a suggestion we were seeing a lot in Twitch chat. Was uh, people saying, you know, perhaps games that are full shouldn't show up in the public game list <laughs> or something. I don't know. Eh, dropped a couple frames. Yeah, I might be wrong. People are saying the stream is down. It shouldn't be. It's curious because uh, apparently this thing is still working. I think your connection is, is just getting a little bit beaten up here. 33 people aid. Yeah, <laughs> I guess you're right. Soon. Trying to compete with a, an actual real server. Maybe a bad idea. <laughs> Gotta wait for that three day internet to get turned back in. <laughs> yeah. Turned on. <laughs> now, how is it though that we actually managed to have like 150 or 100 and some people online at once before? It did work. Temporarily. We actually had. 370, right? It was something ridiculous. I think that was the actual player uh, count. I maybe, don't think... maybe we made a, some bug in this release. I mean, I need to check it, but mm -hmm. maybe there's something fishy. 